All right. Hello, everyone. It looks like it is now six o'clock. So happy Friday. We'll go ahead and get started with our live stream. As always, let's see who is in the room tonight. Scroll up to the top. Hey, Ash of Yahoo. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Huzzle Fudge. Hey, Riley. Let's see who else do we got? Hey, Kelly. Hey, Trucy. Hey, Karma. It's like, Karma, this is your first stream. Well, welcome. Hey, Kate. Hey, Terry. Did I say hi, Casey? Well, if not, if I did, you get two highs. <laughs> So yeah, hello everyone, and hello for everyone who uh, might be floating around watching without being in the chat, that is perfectly fine as well. And yeah, let's give a shout out to our wonderful mods, Riley, Casey, Trucy, and Vanessa, and also Zoe, who could not make it tonight because I believe she said she is on a camping trip. That sounds pretty fun. But yes, give a uh, big shout out to all of our lovely mods who help keep this chat safe and fun and help keep the discord safe and fun too but yeah if you have not done so already i see some of you have but if you haven't given this a huge thumbs up let's go ahead and do that so you can make me and tipsy happy and make the algorithmic gods and goddesses happy as well so people can find the stream but yeah, let's see, what do we got? There you go, Chloe, you're top. Oh, you like my shirt? Thank you. This is actually one of the... I got this, like, very, very early in my transition, and it's one of the few things I still have from, like, the beginning of my transition, and it's just, it's super comfy. The colors are great. I love it. There are nine thumbs up missing. Give us a thumbs up. Oh, well, it looks like some people are... Uh, Love hair. Hair looks to one side. Thank you. I was trying something different. My hair was feeling kind of flat today, so I wanted to make it very much not flat. But today we are going to play. The sound is playing in the background, so let me take that out again. We're going to play a wonderful little horror game by popular request last stream. You know, brought up the idea of retro horror games. We're going to play the absolute delightful, probably absolutely awful Clock Tower from PS1, 1997, by a human corporation, a company that I don't think has existed for like at least a decade. So this should be fun. I've actually only played this game for like 10 minutes, so I really have not played it at all. So part of the reason why I suggested it because I want an excuse to finally be able to play some of these games that have been sitting on my shelf for years. All right. Sounded like a awful opening cutscene was playing in the background. And I apologize if you hear any like static in the background. I tried to suppress some of that, but I think it's just a product of an old video game system. There's a little bit of feedback so let's see, how can I get this? There we go. Let's go back to the... There we go. Alright, hopefully we should have sound. Cutting edge graphics from 1997. Stay quiet if you get lost. I know like 90% of this game and don't want to spoil any. Alright, wonderful. Let's take on... Static, mm, maybe, maybe the static is supposed to be the scissors. So I did not create an overlay this for, I've been meaning to do that for my YouTube, but as you can see on the screen, I'm putting my hand up to the screen like you can see my hand, but you know, this is a, a poor woman's overlay where just my normal background and I changed the size of the images. So oh, let's see, I feel like a few other people trickled in. Hey Josephine and hey Melody. What earth are you doing, Professor? Hopefully I haven't missed any. Like this. Ooh, this voice She's acting. It's Oscar worthy. Helen, also, I just feel like I have to show off a mouse for PS1. 
they made these apparently. Must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking, I'm taking her, her home. home. <laughs> right. Love it. Our main character is already unethical. Remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes. That is what we call a dual relationship in um, psychology ethics, and that's super cool. But anyways, let's explore. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is <laughs> so old. <laughs> hmm. There's a faint smell of ammonia. All right, that that, that was it's profound, Doctor Barton. They are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. They are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. <laughs> I love how suddenly that just stops. Like ominous music and back to reality. What do we got here? The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpton, one of the only two survivors. Have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. I mean, it's good if she also consents to the process, but, you know. What do I know? What do I know? Talking to them like he can hear me from 23 years, 24 years in the future. Who else do we got? Oh, hey, Maya. Hey, Tam. Glad you can make it. You're pretty much just on time, Maya. We just started. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Oh, so he is a psychologist. The staff is still here. Listen to that old school ream printer. Okay. We're gonna go over here. What do we got? Helen's desk. Yeah, it looks like a looks like a hockey mask. Scissor man rubber mask. A kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. <laughs> People certainly buy stupid things like replica scissors. Professor, the newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? Okay. There's still something I need to do in here. <laughs> they really could have squeezed the text a little bit better. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? I guess they want to sensationalize this. Well, I mean, of course. Scissor man who doesn't even exist. I feel like we're going to be proven wrong. It'd be cool if he was real. Just a joke. <laughs> Right, we good to go? There's still something I need to do in her. That's how I imagine he would say that. Shouldn't keep the reporter waiting. I'm trying not to keep them waiting, but you're not letting me leave the room. What the fuck do you still want to do, Dr. Barton? Alright, who else do I need to talk to you? Oh, Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Hmm, that is all I have to say. This mouse is freaking out. Yeah, maybe this old crappy mouse hasn't uh, aged too well. Really beginning to look like sisters. <laughs> this game looks so creepy. I'm gonna smell the smoke coming off her antique console. <laughs> I mean, it's not that old. It's uh, it's only a PS2 that we're playing this on. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. You're a monster. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. I don't want to get fired, so I'm not going to say anything else. I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother would be okay, too. Okay. Thanks, Beth. You're, uh, 
here a, a wealth of information. Is that a wealth of information? Are we done? What now? What now? Is there... What am I missing in here? Harris's desk clipped of out of articles. Uh, it'll seem Harris has gone somewhere. Anything else? Does this game have music? I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Same year that Final Fantasy came out. And we got a remake of Final Fantasy earlier this year, so that means we need a remake of Clock Tower. We done? My god. Just let me miss plot information I don't care about. Okay, here we go. Uh, statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the Clock Tower murders. Seems to be hiding. Oh, is this what I need? Be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Okay. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. Throw it against the wall and break it. Secrets will come out. Alright, we good? Please tell me I can leave the damn door now. Thank you. Found the secret. I mean, I guess that's kind of nice that uh, they don't let you leave the room until you find everything. Unlike a lot of games where it's just like, oh, you didn't find it, sucks to be you. Oh, Professor, a newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Hey, May. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, a grown woman sits around talking about wanting a kid sister. Grown Woman, written for a 1997 B-horror game. That's who. Oh god, this mouse is not precise. It's like I don't remember the last time uh, I used a mouse that had an actual, actual ball in it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't click the button in the exact right spot. Look at that elevator. Alright. Here we go. Ooh, ominous. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm the one who called you from the Oslo Newsweekly. My name is Nolan Campbell. Nice to meet you, Mr. Campbell. It's a pleasure. Is it? I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Okay. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. It's like it adds to the suspense how slow the text is. Yep, I missed that. That would be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really, it's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused, as is her right. What do we got here? Oh, hey Jared! Glad you can make it. Please tell me what a ball mouse is. It's a mouse that has an actual, like, rubber ball in the bottom to, like, guide... Yeah, to guide how the mouse works, as opposed to having, like, I guess, I don't know, what it, laser? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you call a regular mouse. Uh, a modern mouse. The monster she's talking about, the scissor man, and whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That's what our readers want to know. That's what they buy our shitty newspaper for. Because the existence of the Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Wasn't I expecting him to say youngsters at the end of that statement? 
Yes, that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized. Wow. Well, that's, uh, Professor Barton is kind of, kind of an asshole. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, this was fun. Are we done here? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there is a murderer. Ah, Casey can explain the ball mouse. Or laser mice is a physical ball rolling around corresponding to the screen. Yeah. They're not very efficient, because, you know, you get cat hair inside of it. And I say that because I picked it up and there was cat hair inside of it. The fact that there is a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. Or does it? We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about... she was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see. I wouldn't I wouldn't feel stupid, Maya. These these things have not been used regularly in quite some time. Okay, why is it just going through all the text? I have to get back to the lab. Do I? Expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. You're supposed to be a young boy about ten years old. Why are so many lines of text like that, where there's just one remaining word? <laughs> Alright. Okay, come on, mouse. You can do it. There's no reason to go to the third floor. Oh. Hate to waste time. Thank you for helping me save time. I feel like I'm going to die, at least at one point, because this mouse is not going to be responsive enough. I guess that just adds to the terror. Okay, okay. Why are there birds chirping in here? At least that's what it sounds like. And back to the lab. It has been ups and Oh, well, you got something to show me over here. Hello, Professor. The boy that survived the clock tower. Murders is here. Oh, he has arrived already. Yeah, she's waiting in the, the therapy room. Well, that's what that room's called? I think you should rename that room. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert. Opinion on this statue. Should probably ask Professor Sullivan. The head of librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes. But there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. Okay. Show it to him first to see if he knows. Anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the Burbs. Could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris. Yes. Oh. I mean, is this a crucial plot point here? What do y'all think? Can we trust Harris? I'm probably just gonna say yes. I like asking him if they know enough. Therapy room or the pitch and the pendulum? Why not both? I'll go ahead and say yes. I mean, Harris seems respectable. I mean, look at that face. It's trustworthy. Trustworthy pixel. Would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Oh, of course, I know Rick. Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it does. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thanks much. Okay, that's that. Should probably go to the therapy room and uh, therapize, probably more likely traumatize, this child. That's a weird looking kid. 
Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite or Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory. Okay, let's keep going. From the shop. <laughs> no, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Yes, difficult. Look at that. I'm winning. Edward. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. I think my uh, stream disconnected for a second. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm still here. <laughs> that was weird. That's never happened before. Okay. Well. Oh, here we go. Data save. Data save. Yeah, save that data. Choose save data. There we go. I'm back. Data's already present. Overwrite data. Didn't I just save data? Okay, I'm not really sure how the mouse moves on here. It just it just does. Nah. There's a glitch in the matrix. Correct. It's scissor man cutting the Ethernet cables. Beth, you said your hard drive crashed. Hmm. And just like my internet. Yes, I lost all of this morning's data. I hope I can get it fixed sometime today otherwise. I'll be fired. Otherwise I won't get my dissertation done on time. Hmm. And Danny gets back, I'm sure. That's the real terror here. Somebody having to work on a dissertation. And just drink my beverage on that note. Meantime, I'm going to step out again. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure, see you later. Not sure why this thing... This, this mouse is janky. Okay. Where should I go? Oh, too many options here. Too many options. What do we got? As the weekly newspaper, the police station, the Norway International Hotel, the municipal library... The University Research Building. Ugh. University Staff Housing. That's just out in the middle of the woods, apparently. That horrible dial-up sound. Yeah, you can hear that. You can probably hear a little bit of the buzzing in the background now. Doesn't look like it's showing up too much in the stream, but I can hear it. All right, y'all. Where should we go? Should we go to the police? Should we go to the news? Should we go to the hotel? Should we go to the library? Should we go to the research building or housing? So many exciting options. Like, can I just jump into the bay, you know, and just do Scissor Man's work for him? Can I, like, escape on this little boat here? I just noticed the clouds moving. That's a state of the art right there, that 4K cloud. You municipal library, let's learn some stuff. Don't call the cops. So, no cops. Have a party at the hotel. So, we got. Two votes for the library. Hey, Snarky Cat. Love that name. Uh, let's learn some shit. Alright, library. We got three votes for the library. I'm going to go ahead. Metropolitan Library. Many university personnel use it. Including myself. Oh, look at those graphics. God. <laughs> Something about, like, old-school graphics just makes me happy, though. Hello, Helen. Mr. Sullivan. What are you doing here today? I'm gonna do weird voices for every character and then drop it after, like, two seconds. Ah, uh, see, I wanted to show you my collection. I just added a new piece. Uh-huh, yes. Well, maybe next time. Next time. It looks so bad. Oh, um, okay. Well, we had a vote for the hotel, so we'll go there next, and y'all think up our third destination. I'm guessing we're just gonna go to all these places? 
thought it was going to be like, you have to choose, and hopefully you choose wisely. Norway International Hotel. <laughs> yeah, so nostalgic. Yeah, there's something comforting about old graphics. I think I mentioned to y'all last week, I've been playing through Silent Hill 3. I just arrived at the hospital. Game is still incredibly stressful, like 20 years later. This game doesn't look like it's gonna be quite as scary. Oh, Helen, how's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Never give up. Sometimes something will... I don't know what that said. Yes, will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. Okay, plan to stay here for a while. Okay, now you answer my question. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. Vanessa Maxwell. Alright, so we're not going to the police. Let's, uh, let's uh, go to the research building. Let's knock out this dissertation in one click. Oh, we, uh, we not going here? Just another breath or two of fresh air. Okay, that was... That was fucking profound, Vanessa. Or Jessica, whatever your name is. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, Vanessa, in the chat. Our wonderful moderator, our amazing, wonderful goddess son of a person. I just forgot the name of my character. Going back and playing Resident Evil is like so nostalgic and comforting for me. I haven't played much of the original third Resident Evil. The remake was disappointing. Still enjoyed it, but it was disappointing. I think I'm going to replay the remake of the original Resident Evil this weekend. Because that is one of my all-time favorite games. Okay, I didn't even read that dialogue. I'll be mobbing my reporters if I go in there. Ah, the police station. Hmm. wonder if Mr. X is in here. Resident Evil reference for those of you that don't know. Assistant Inspector Guts, person in charge of the Clock Tower case, is here. Thank you. Well, hey, Teach, got some new info? No, you got any leads? Nope, nothing. <laughs> that would have laughed if that was the end of the conversation. It's like, got anything for me? Nope, how about you? Nope. All right, good day. Said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Huh, ain't nothing straight about the case, just like me, huh? Yes, that sounds like Professor Barton. <laughs> what about that little cutie? Jennifer, she's still having nightmares. Occasionally. You couldn't fit occasionally, there's a lot of space there. Uh, she was almost slashed up. Well, let me know if you learn something. Alright, I feel so enlightened. Okay, where the fuck do we go now? Oh, gotta get back to the university. Oh, thank you, it's like you heard me, Helen. I should get home and work on my dissertation. Mm, stop reminding me that I have to do that myself. Yes, Vanessa is our OG mod. Yes. Very much so. <laughs> can't cut a straight line. My wife can't park straight. I love that. It's like when I'm driving on the road. I don't drive straight. I just drive forward. Thanks. That's big help. I'm going to go down to the lounge for a short nap. And then never wake up again. So I never have to do that dissertation. Oh, we will be going home soon. Okay, well, no need to lock up. Okay. Who the fuck wrote this dialogue? 
<laughs> Scenario 1, Helen Maxwell. The game finally starts. Ride to Hellport. No, please don't make me play that. <laughs> I've never played it, but I've I have heard that it is one of the considered to be one of the worst games ever made. At least one of the worst mainstream games ever made. I mean, I did recommend uh, as a horrifying game we could play Superman 64. I would probably throw it into the wall after 10 minutes, so we'd, we'd need a backup game. But, you know, Baker is still in the lab. Rose. Yes, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a motel. That is a bad work-life balance. Let me sleep a little until Baker comes. I feel like that's just, like, cruel to just have bunk beds right next to the research. It's like they don't want you to go home. Is there anything else? Am I... And now I'm gonna... Bunk beds for napping, so you can never leave. Bunk beds for napping. Are you... I thought you said you were gonna take a nap. It's about time for... Sorry, I picked the wrong bed, apparently. <laughs> Can't sleep with it on. Then, why are you in bed already with the light on? Oh, did I... I probably turned the light on because I'm an asshole. Comic book. That's a comic book? It's a strange house-shaped comic book. Yeah, an old air conditioner. Yeah, that looks like a old school like a uh, hotel air conditioner. Guess probably not that old school when this game came out. Okay, hopefully I don't go out the door. There we go. Oof. Right to hell sounds like living life without. <laughs> oh no. Take a quick nap. Don't work on my report. Guess that's a good reframe. Just call the dissertation a report. Sounds much less intimidating. One game that scared... Oh, The Suffering. That's a game we could play in the future. I have both of The Suffering games on PlayStation. Hello? Who is it? Did your character just ask you to turn out the lights? Well, the other character asked my character to turn off the lights. Hello? Empty dies. Can we turn on the lights first? Oh, I was kidding. <laughs> um. What the fuck is this shit? I can't see anything. Okay. That works. Just leave my friend. Um, can you run? It won't open. I uh, expected that. Run! Door won't open. Ah! Because it's so dark, it kind of looked like the scissors were just floating at first. Okay, I'm just gonna run down the hallway. Oh, that looks like somewhere I can go. Okay, what the... Jesus. This shit is dark as fuck. This music. Well, we, we answered the question, Maya. The game does have music. And nice scissor sounds. Um, where am I supposed to go? I can't see anything. Oh shit, did I go the wrong direction? Please don't hurt me. I did nothing wrong. Oh, there's something over here. Yeah, clearly, I, uh, how did I miss that door there? Um, can I use the elevator? Power's probably out. Oh, get in there. 
This is one of the most stressful point-and-click games I have ever played. Hopefully you click the button. Here did a good job of horror FPS. Oh! <laughs> that was creepy. What the fuck is happening? Ah, oh, spilled my drink a little bit. Wait, we've gone half an hour and not one F-bomb from Chloe? <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm just gonna stand here. Okay, guys, I think we're good. I'll just wait here forever. What if you, like, pried open the elevator door? Sheer terror. Yeah, I saw... Wasn't I just on... Which floor am I going to? Um... It's a good question. I can imagine this being scary to play alone at night or something. <laughs> Well, it's, uh... Scissorman totally will not hear those footsteps. Okay, where the fuck am I? Let me... Can I turn on the light? Uh... Maybe I could turn on the light if this goddamn mouse worked. I feel like this would almost be easier to use a regular controller! No. Okay, let's say hello to the plant. Hello, plant friend. A flower pot. I had to bend over to determine that. Magazine rack. Many academic journals. The bane of my fucking existence. Like, now that I was nearly murdered, time to get back to that dissertation. Fax machine reigns. You know this game's old. Okay. Uh... Okay. Okay. Hello, Fax. Nice to meet you. Get ready. I'm coming to get you. Aw, how nice. How nice of him to, uh, fax that message to me. <gasps> Gasp. God, this is so cheesy, and I love it. Inside, there are some, uh, some dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. He closed it before you even, uh, take the umbrella. Fight Scissorman with it. A flashlight. This might be useful. You don't say. It's fucking dark as crap here. Several stuffed animals inside. Wonder why these are here at the university. Judgmental? Jeez. Locked. Um. Turn on the flashlight. Nothing that might be useful. Let me uh, use the flashlight. Let's check out this uh, this instruction manual. It's like stop animation. I think they just want a hug. All right, we got a mouse. Left button, right button. That's that's profound. You could tell me what those buttons. Do. Direction keys. Alright, alright. Escape mode is activated when character is chased by scissor man. Panic mode when the character's life is threatened, the cursor blinks red. This is called panic mode. To use an item that you picked up, move the cursor to the top of the screen. Upper left hand corner. To display the current, click the item you want to use. Ah, wonderful. Ho oh. ho! Can we. Huh? Uh huh? You gonna. Building is completely. 
How do you use this? Why? Why did you give me this flashlight? <laughs> this is infuriating. It's like more frustrating than the games that give you a flashlight that have batteries that last. Okay, I guess I took too long. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh shit, fuck. I really took too long there. All right, that is that is my dead end. Oh my god, that is that is my death cry. Shit, fuck. Apparently, you know, you know, I appreciate the. Uh... Can I? Do I have to? Yeah. Let's see if we can try out a controller instead. This mouse is not doing it for me. No! Alright. Now we're using a controller. It's just quite warm in here. Oh, here we go. Yep, yeah, this is better than using a mouse. I still wish I could see. That word. Where am I supposed to go? You saw nothing, scissor man. Scissor asshole. Snap, snap. Scissor man's here. It's locked. You know what that means? We're gonna die. Oh god. Oh no. No! I have a feeling I'm gonna be dying a lot. Okay, here we go. Third time is the charm. As they say, you know. Scissor me once, shame on you. Scissor me twice. I forget how the rest of that goes. That's nice, you don't really have to redo much. Oh, exit. This couldn't possibly be open, could it? Oh, what do we get? That looks like something. Doesn't look like I can select anything. Can't see me. <sighs> well, here we go. Scissor me thrice. Scissor, scissor, scissor. Scissor, scissor. Scissor, scissor. Oh, oh no, what the your fucking hell? You magical demon. The terror. That is a creepy little animation. I appreciate that. Alright, let's try going up to floor number three. It looked like my hand punched floor number one. Why are we still in this damn building? That is a great question, Casey. That is a asking the important questions. How the hell do you get out of here? This might be where I started, actually. Left yourself wide open with that one. What do we got here? It's only a matter of time before Scissorfuck comes and ruins our day again. I wonder if there's something here that might be useful on the World Wide Web. Um, okay. 
I don't know, maybe if I could fucking see something, I would find something useful. But I have a flashlight. That apparently is only... There is nothing abnormal. Other than the, the maniacal, scissor-wielding, creepy person. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. What did we get? Liars. Almost like small scissors. It's like nothing abnormal here. There's no computers on the table. Should have access to the interwebs. Okay. I'm gonna change my ring down to Clover and scissor me once. Perfect. I love it. All right. I feel like it's only a matter of a cheap desk. Maybe I have budget problems here too. Really? That's the comment you're gonna make right now? I'm being chased, I'm about to die. But this desk, the crafts craftsmanship is just it is atrocious. That's the real horror here. Yeah, that sounded like a glitch. Professor Pierre's lab. There's no way to get into the lab. What do we got here? That looks like something that I can interact with. So dark. This is the men's lounge. Yeah, we don't want to go in there. That is a bad place. Oh. Can we turn the light back on? No, it does not look like it. Someone's put some cosmetics in the shelf. Yeah, let's kill Scissor Man with the power of feminine products. Bed for staff who work late. Or grad students that are being abused. Campus is lit up. There's no one around at this time of night. Absolutely no one in sight. You know? Sounds like a perfect time to leave. Cheap, uncomfortable bug beds. Famous for being sago wiki. Oh, is that what they're famous for? Okay. Well, this room was a bust. Okay, then. Does this exit door work? Emergency exit. That's odd, it doesn't even budge. That is odd. What do we got? So we got pliers. What? What can we use the pliers for? Oh my, Helen, how would you know? The expiry Claire's makeup. It's, it's more dangerous than novelty scissors. Indeed. Okay, okay. I guess we're going to the restroom. Ooh, what a lovely urinal. Somehow our hands are covered in blood, said the narrator. <laughs> Everything seems normal. Something told me a scissor man was in there. Yet you opened it anyway. <laughs> Just pop something like surprise, bitch. Alright, where? Where to now? I feel like I should go to the first floor. That might be good. What's upstairs? Kind of unsettled at how long it's been since Sizaman. An emergency ladder. It can't be used because it's locked. Certainly would be a big help in an emergency. Ho <laughs> ho! You told that ladder. Does that work? Also, it's cloaked in gloomy darkness. Um. Emergency ladder can't be used. I'm just going to absolutely ignore everything. 
you're trying to do. That's that is cloaked in gloomy darkness. Good thing I have a flashlight that you're unwilling to use. Um, let's try going. Of course, Helen going into the prophecy of anti trans legislation. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. All right. Oh, what the fucking hell? I was not paying attention. <laughs> you got me there, scissor man. You got me. Good one. Give it to him. I was not prepared for that. Literally just saying, it's too quiet. Please come kill me, scissor man. Seriously, this building needs some, like, fucking windows or something. Like, can we get a little bit of light in here? A little bit of natural light? Boy, 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 this is... Can we leave? Can we leave? Why can't we leave? Cool. Time to die. Uh, hey, motivated gamer. Okay, this is a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me throw a chair at Scissor Man. <laughs> My only weakness. How did you know? Oh, is this really what we're doing? Is this what we're doing? <laughs> that, that was... That was fantastic. Um, pliers. Let me ply you to death. Okay. Well. Did not ply him to death. Did not ply him to death. I was the only one who got plied. Sad story. Why was that an option to pick up that fucking chair? Alright. Is he gonna be down here? And uh, nope, nope. Other way. I guess you can't run away. The scissors get too close, you get sucked in like a magnet. So, Scissor Man is an evil wizard. The, the moral of the story I'm getting. Helen skipped our town. God. <laughs> um, well, it uh, looks like I'm screwed. I feel like it would be so easy to just, like, shimmy around that guy. Okay, is there really nothing else in here I can interact with? Pick up the chair! Why Why would you go that way? There's a gap in between the chair and whatever the hell that wooden thing is. It's like... <laughs> God. It's like I'm in a giant room. What am I gonna do? There's no way I could get around this person. There's only like 10 feet on every side. All right, here we go. Can we throw this through the window? Mm, probably not. Here we go. Take that, scissor man. Okay, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why? All right. I'm really just trying to beat my death count on Celeste. That's my goal for tonight's stream. Whew. Hey, baby, you looking to get plied? Jesus. Wait till he gets closer, maybe. I wish I could wait till he gets, he gets closer, but it doesn't, it doesn't let me wait. She just automatically throws the chair. Like, who designed this nonsense? Okay, so I got pliers. 
We got pliers. Um, and a flashlight. And I assume I need them to get out of Sisser Man. Ha. Huh. The real monster. Sisser among us. Okay, here we go. Okay. That reminds me. F bomb counter is way higher with Celeste though. This is true. This is this is quite true. It is locked. I thought that door was locked last time. Nope, it was not locked. Oh, it was the uh, locker that was locked. As lockers are one to do. Uh, uh, can I open the locker with the pliers? That is not the locker I clicked on. Why are you doing this to me, Jessica? Ply, ply, ply. It's locked. Can you not ignore the items I'm trying to use? I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I swear, there's probably an item hiding somewhere that I just cannot see because the scissor man used his magical powers to dim my computer screen. All right. Is this fucker hiding, hiding from me? Hiding in the elevator again? Hiding in the women's bathroom? Let's see. Do I still have blood on my hands? Her face is caught in the mirror. It is pale and drawn, a face she has never seen before. What is with the narration? Ah! Oh, I thought Scissor Man. Oh, he got the dramatic close up. It's so dark, I can barely see. Well. Those sound effects. Oof. All right, so we found Rose, and time to leave. Everything is normal. <laughs> I've already recovered from seeing Rose get murdered viciously. Hey, electronic sheep. It's like, oh my god, murder, vomit. Oh, next stall. Everything's normal. Like, uh, thanks. Thanks for that, Jessica. Good old <laughs> dissociation. Maybe I can wear Scissor Man's rubber mask. Danny's desk is really messy. Well, is, is Danny dead? Um, there's his desk. Any clock tower articles? Gadget all about. Okay, stop reading. This is how you die. Did she really puke on the floor of the sick youngster? Yep. I know I left the key to the office laying here. Are you? Which office is that? That's the real fucking question. Is it this office right over here? AKA the therapy room? Looks like Beth forgot these. There's a spray cane of mace. Oh. This may must be the one with the powerful, irritating smell, as opposed to the useless one. Okay, what do we got here? Old criminal records. God, I can see this game. This game is just... Is this the key? I can get into the therapy room with this. Of course. Of course. The key I needed was in the room the whole time. Oh, am I going to use the replica scissors? 
to fight against the real scissors. Uh, patient files are stored here. Hopefully that's locked. Otherwise, that would be a HIPAA violation. Bottles of... Oh. What is the point of coming in here? Oh, I wonder if I use the mace automatically. <laughs> no, don't kill me. Please. Okay, um, I guess, um, I guess I don't know how to use mace. Hmm. <sighs> it's going great, y'all. This is going great. Can't escape the first fucking building. <laughs> Treatment bad. What the fuck is the point of coming in here? Patient files are stored here. Anything else? No. We got... We got medicine. Bottles of medicine. Okay. Oh. He didn't let me do that last time. There are files on the desk. There's something written on the file. As files usually do, have text. You've discovered hint number four. Okay. <laughs> what is hint number four? <laughs> it's like, thank you for that. That, great. Oh, hey, Kara. Like you've discovered hint number four. The real mystery is ac accessing the hint. So this room is pointless. I mean, you get a hint. But other than that... Yeah, probably gotta go to the main menu to view the hint. I would guess. Which... Okay, so... We got a useless key. Does this office key open up more than just that one door, though? Yeah, that's that's a real, real question here. Professor Mari, the door won't Kunis. Yeah, what did that look like? Oh, what do we got here? Trash can. Wonderful. That's, uh, that's profound. It is securely locked. <sighs> I guess this does not warrant an emergency. Hmm. All right, um... I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Did I? But it did have a... an edge. God. Really? Why are there not brightness settings? You know, sometimes I wonder. Why companies do certain make certain design decisions? Probably why the the human company went out of business. This looks like a cutscene. Slow kill, kill, kill. I'd rather not today. No killing for me, please. Oh. Shit, what the fuck? Looks like I cannot access the other door. In we go! Oh, look at this. We're here again. Just where I wanted to be. The door won't open! <sighs> fuck me. How the 
fuck do you get out of this god forsaken building? Snip, 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 snip. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the gif. He has been defeated. <laughs> what the fuck? Good thing he doesn't have a pair of sharp scissors that can cut through sheets. We're not on the first floor. <laughs> I was on the first floor earlier. How the fuck do we get out of here? Okay, what the hell would I use pliers for? That I have encountered. What am I missing? Because clearly pliers. <laughs> Scissor man is really a piece of sheet. <laughs> Zinner. Like, look at that door. Oh, my goodness. Sizzle me timbers. Oh, this is new. What do we got? 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 What's in the box? <laughs> I hope you didn't see that, because that would be a painful. Well, you, uh, you wasted no time getting back out of that. It's interesting to have no control over some of these things. This door should lead to the parking lot outside. Oh! Huh. Doorknob is wired shut. Oh, that's right. I have pliers. This door isn't supposed to be used. But I wonder if I could do something to the wires. Well... Can we use the pliers to take care of the wires? Uh, it worked. Look at that. It's like the game heard me. It's even locked to you motherfucking door. Can't make it easy, can they? Many parts for a computer. Oh look, a key! Um, anything else of use in here? Is there a key? Because that's what should be over here. Probably stuffed with old research documents and maybe keys to the parking lot. <sighs> Only could find something to use as a key. That would be great. Seems empty. Yes, this is how we assess if something is empty. Oh. Hey, Thomas. All right. He pulled a good old solid snake trick and hid in, hid in a box and Scissor Man is forever stumped. Oh. Have I not been down here before? I guess I just didn't come far enough. Is there a key? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's not cool. Oh, good. I'm glad we're in this room again. <laughs> um, so... Oh no, oh no, shit. Fucking... Fucking hell. Here we go. 
Let's go right back out. Let's see if I can just phase right through him. Take the fucking elevator. Well. Hello, Scissor Man. Please. Hey, Vulan. Glad you could make it. You just missed me getting scissored a bunch of times. That's that's what you've missed. What am I supposed to do? Well, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, fancy. Look at that. He'll never find me here. Oh, shit. Maybe he will. No. 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 Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Out the door we go. Okay, okay. Wait, what's over here? Oh, that's something. Won't open. Go the other way. Go the other way. Run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Ah, uh, thanks, Melody. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. I can't. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I guess I'm gonna hide in the box. Again. Hurry up before he comes through. Solid snake. Oh, that was close. I'm glad there's a human-sized box in this room. Okay, okay, let's let's check those lockers again, and hopefully the demon barber is uh, not waiting. Hi Chloe, I love your channel. I'm also starting hormones in three days. Ah, congratulations! Is that a cell. It doesn't want me to open that locker door again. It's locked. That must be why they call it a locker. Staff lockers. Still locked. Um, so they're all locked. Here we see Snake doing her solid snake impression. You are quite correct. Okay, if I was a parking lot key, where the fuck would I be? So, do I have any... I still have pliers. Hmm. Hmm. There's no way to open this door, so what have I not explored? That key better not be just, like, hiding in the same freaking room. Okay, let me try this room. I haven't properly explored this room because I'm always being chased to death. But let's see. What do we got? Okay, we got something over here. What is that? The phone is dead. Yeah. Profound. What the hell is this thing? What? What? This shit. Now security will surely come. I can somehow stay alive until then. I feel like this a man is going to come now. There's a key laying on the table. What's this? You now have starch chaos. Uh, can we leave now? 
Alright. Podacon, where's the fucking parking lot? <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So I'm gonna take a guess, and I hope I'm wrong. I feel like I'm gonna open up the door to the parking lot, and Scissorfuck is gonna be waiting for me. Next surprise, you can never- What the f fucking hell? <laughs> Almost had it. Almost had it. <laughs> oh my god. This guy is a real, real sharp pain in my side. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right. Okay. Well, that was an adventure, y'all. Man, he went fast that time. I appreciate that I did not have to wait. Very punctual scissors. <laughs> Surely he'd never be late for anything. That was weird. Let's just change its name. Snip. Plug your controller into slot 2 so you can't predict your moves. Oh, I did have the mouse plugged into slot 2. Yeah. thought this game would be easier with the mouse, and it's actually a lot more challenging. Okay, so we got the storage key. Is he going to be waiting in the parking lot this time? Wesley Snips. God, that's awful. <laughs> Call him Edward Snipperhands. Edward Scissorman. Scissorman. I thought I had a key. Then if the key is not for that, what the fuck is it for? This looks like a storage room to me. Oh, Jesus Christ. There are many parts of computers here. It is almost like it is a storage room for them. Hey, motherfucker. So if it's a storage key, could it be used to open lockers? Just came back from a night with friends and I felt really uncomfortable, so this stream comes- Oh, I'm sorry that your night with friends was uncomfortable, but I'm glad you could join the stream. You have to select the key as an item. Are you kidding me? You're right. I didn't have to select one of the other keys as an item, so I assumed. Excuse me. Well, a blood vessel pops in my head. What would I do without y'all? What would I do without you, Hustle Fudge, in this case? Oh my god. Why? <laughs> we made it! Game over! Alright, cool. I guess that was a car? That very faint sound effect? Alright, we did it. Yes! It is already present. Overwrite? Absolutely. Alright. 
I feel like that took a lot longer than it should have. What in the burp? We haven't solved the last case yet, and now another mass murderer. And you're saying the murderer is uh, the one and only Scissor Man. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go now. You can go home now. Teach. Oh, but don't go any too far for a while. Because I'll probably have to call you in again soon. I know, got. Hello. It's alright, Jennifer. Ah, let's keep looking for more clues about Scissor Man. Ah. My shoulders are very stiff. He'll probably kill us, okay. Oh, hey, a bath. Base, base, probably base. About to say bass. Well, let me know. Welcome, base. <laughs> I really do want to believe your story, you know. Well, then why don't you? Was it real? Yes, but I don't want to know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Couldn't have been wearing a mask. What do we got these little fire extinguishers in the corner? You know, that could make a, a useful weapon. Shall we go? Okay. Somehow I must find a clue about the Shizzle Man. No reason to go to a newspaper office. No reason to go to the hotel. Uh, I guess there is a reason to go to the Norway International Hotel. Here we go. Helen, I heard that you were attacked by a scissor man. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as in the clock tower case, though. Maybe. He will go after Edward, too. Where is Edward? I think he's in the library. Seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him, then. Would you? <laughs> okay. Let's tell him to come back soon. Profound. So we're gonna go to the Metropolitan Library. Wonder if uh, Professor Sullivan's there. Edward might be there too, apparently. A scissor man or the scissor man? Or the scissor men? Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. He's too busy scissoring people. Oh, I thought they said Edward was at the library. Weird. Investigation of the scene seems to be over. Oh, hey Lilith. Hopping off for now, about to start my D&D game. Good luck with the Wesley Snips. Thanks, May. Glad you could come. And hope you have fun with D&D. Helen, are you alright? Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get it all get in all morning because of the investigation. Whoa. Excuse me. By the way, Beth. I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Dun dun dun. Right, I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. Oh, it's not here? Is this somebody named Rick? If I remember correctly. But he's away on some police business. Darn! Darny darn! I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue about Scissor Man. Did he tell you where it was taking it? I think he said he'd either take it to the library 
or to a man named Rick. Yes, look at that memory of mine. Took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? Who is this mysterious Rick? Is it Rick Scissorman? I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, so that's God's about Rick. <laughs> Is there anyone in town named Rick? Oh, yes, there's only one. Jeez, God. Uh. Got any new info, Teach? Uh, yeah, just, uh, just sign Rick. That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be. The butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family? Of the Glock Tower case? The one and only. That would mean, well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. Or so he says. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? That statue just might be the key to the secret of the Scissor Man. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. Guts, I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it too. <laughs> you are quite the investigator. Well. Okay, ain't got any other new leads. I just, uh, stand here in this one position forever and wait for people to give me information. All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue, right? Nothing to it. Yes, but... Ask Gots. <gasps> I guess we're asking Gots to get the statue. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Can someone make a Chloe saying scissor super cut? Scissor super cut. Alright, got. You gonna get got? Would you? Sure, I'll go now. I'll make myself useful for the first time in my policing career. Stan Gatz, episode two. Oh. Oh, I see. Was that how it was? Yeah, if you know something, <laughs> Gramps, tell me. Yeah, I don't like this guy. Right, now I'm looking for any clue. Hmm. Mr. Gatz, do you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle. Yes, there's a castle in England. Then before the Barrows family moved. Yes, that is what I have heard. Over 80 years ago. Oh, close up. Hey, is that a little doggy in the corner or is that a statue? Monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. How's that? That'd be Scissorman? I'd always thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? <laughs> he was killed by his father. Oh, that's sad. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation. Hmm. The old man killed his own son. Listen, Gramps. Do you know where the castle was? Give me a moment. I'm sure that's somewhere. Yep, it is a doggy. No, the dog cannot get scissored. We do not like that. What's wrong? <laughs> that is a that is a voice. It's okay, boy. It's okay, boy. What's the matter? You make such a racket. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, I have a gun now. So, um... 
Rick got killed by his own dog? What? So, uh, that happened. All right. I can't see anything. What? What the fuck? I mean, I gotta give it to him, you know, keeping me on my toes. That was a, uh, unexpected plot twist for sure. Yep. Yeah. This game is so fucking dark. <laughs> Beethoven? Oh god. <laughs> Beethoven be like, fuck you, Gramps. <sighs> no, they do not have... Oh, that's, that's the sound options. There's not even an options list. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ads the doctor gives you a Moses. Yeah. Congrats, Melody. That's awesome. I didn't say that earlier. Hi to anyone. I missed my internet crash. Had to reset. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ash. Supercut as in clipping every time you say a scissor joke while playing the game. Okay. Here we go. So did Scissor Man, like, use his demon powers to possess Beethoven? Jesus Christ, this is dark. Why would they make the game like this? I wonder, I wonder if there's a way I can brighten, I might be able to brighten it. Let's see, let's see. Uh, what would that setting be? Not this, is it? Oh, nope, that, that is not what we want. Yeah, that is, uh, that is the opposite of what we want there. Let's see, is there a way to brighten this? Does anybody happen to know what the setting might be to brighten the picture? Cheat, cheat, cheat. Brighten it. Let's try... No... Uh, Ah. Ooh, that's that's not great. I mean, I guess that's technically brighter, but that's super washed out. Can make the contrast a little better. Let's see. Ah. Okay. Oh. There we go. It's gonna look a little, a little shitty, but yeah. There we go. That's how you play. Ooh, this is gonna look rough as shit. <laughs> okay, it's yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, I'll I'll adjust this. You know. This this is uh this is what we're doing. I wasn't fast enough to hide in the bathtub apparently. Ooh, that looks rough. Oh, thanks, Lilith. Oh yeah, the colors are completely different now. I feel like the now loading did not look like it was dripping blood before. Or did it? I don't remember.
Why is it not letting me interact with that? All right, well, this was good. This is great. This is great. This is great. I love it. Cop has too many <laughs> Well, I guess this is one of the advantages of playing it on my com playing it through my computer. Is that I can... Uh... Can we hide in the bath, dude? <laughs> no way he would ever open a door. Interesting, interesting. All right. Boiled. Boiled scissor man's scissor plans. <laughs> Didn't even mean for that to rhyme. Just that good. What do we get here? Only toiletries. I'm going to adjust this just a tinge because it, it's pretty ugly <laughs> put that down a little bit contrast actually it's not that bad yeah yeah it looks a little better Let's see, how dark is the hallway? That's the real question. Oh, you can actually see how hideous this house is. What the hell is that? Is that just like a frickin' wall? Watching this on my dad's account. Thank you for existing. I'm starting blockers soon. This is so useful to have your pocketbook of information and representation on top of stuff. Aw, oh, thanks! Chloe puns and Harper. Is there another name you'd like to use, like me to use, since you're on um, your dad's account? Washing machine. It is full of water, as the washing machine do. What is this? Some detergent on the shelf. This could be used to blind someone. Oh, I was actually thinking that would be useful, and the game picked it up. That was awful. Oh, is that a... what is that? Paul's leaning against the wall. Looks like a mop handle. You pick up the detergent, but you don't pick up a pole. Interesting. It's like... This weapon-shaped item could not possibly be used as a weapon. But this box of powder could be. What a waste. This chest can still be used. Well, I mean, it's yours. Because the owner got eaten by a dog. Canned salmon. Interesting. Well. Ooh, yep, that's washed out. It's full of water. Oh, guess we can't uh, we can't do that. We could put it back. That would be that would be absolutely grand. Video game cop logic. Going by Ellen. Oh, hey Ellen. Classic spook. Hey Neon. Okay. Puns are the pinnacle of humor. Correct. They're quite punny. God, this... This house. Some, uh, some design. I think this would just be in the way. What? I think this would just be in the way. What? What are you saying? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing seems strange. Other than the scissor man and the dog eating its owner. Full cocktail cabinet. 
Do you just have a drink? I love it. I'll drink with you. I was gonna say, like, you should drink it, and it's like, oh, way ahead of you. Gots, gots to have the drink. In sounds as a row of coffee cups. For mixing my bourbon into my coffee. Oh. This is an interesting color outside. <laughs> Hello, cute murderous dog. <laughs> Why did you kill him? Oh, I guess we're going back inside. I don't get it. I don't get it. Who is the architect for this house? I don't know. All the good vibes. We have the best scissor vibes. Too many good vibes in here. It's dangerous. Oh. Hmm. What do we got here? We have a picture. Rick's signature is at the bottom of the painting. That old geezer is pretty good. You're kind of an ageist asshole. A wooden mask. Oh, probably a souvenir from Africa or somewhere. What the shit? What? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Okay, grab this. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Apparently, cursed objects and ghosts and spirits and demons, oh my. <laughs> Tablecloth is covering the table. I just got caught. I just got attacked by a floating demonic mask. But what a nice tablecloth. There's something inside wrapped in foil. Well, why don't we take a look? Why don't we take a look? Or not. You know, that's, that's cool too. I don't want to see uh, Rick's weak old burrito in the microwave either, so that's fine. There's cooking utensil inside. This can't be used as a weapon. Hmm. Never say never. What the? What the fuck is happening in this house? <laughs> like, I remember my first time using an oven too. <laughs> Wish my old lady could see this. Sorry for your wife. You seem like a jerk, guts. There's some garbage in it. Hmm. What is that? Oh! Hello! Hi, friend. By friend, I mean, please never approach me again. Okay, where are we going? That's fine, yeah, just walk at a super leisurely pace. I guess we're going up the stairs. Didn't look like I could interact with that door. I do appreciate the, uh, the high ceilings in this house. All right, can we, uh, is there anywhere? Can we hide in here? Looks like a place I could hide. Yeah, classic horror, hiding in the closet. All right, some of us call that liquid plus. I'll just climb back into my dumpster now. Scissor man looks like Darth Maul. <laughs> this room could use some gasoline in a match. Now that kitchen, that kitchen is cursed. Let us call the ghost hunters. Just garbage. <laughs> like you, Guts. Neatly made bed. 
looks just like a hotel bed. A Bible. God's always sleeping when you need him most. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, we got a balcony out here? Oh, we do. Maybe. Assuming. Oh. Hello, world. I'm king of the castle. Color scheme of this house, yeah. Well, the colors are partial partially weird because I I messed with the brightness settings so I could actually see so I imagine it's not in t what the fuck is the point of coming out here I imagine the colors aren't supposed to look this funky hmm unless I can open those windows from the other side and then it's a shortcut in case I'm kind of surprised Scissor Man wasn't just like, hello, and jump through the window. It's apparently, he's like, hiding in the cellar, hiding in lockers, hiding in elevators, hiding behind fake doors. We can't eat ourselves off the balcony. <laughs> I mean, I was able to go outside, and then he's just like, nope, I'm going back inside, and you can. You have nothing to say about this. Looks like a flower vase. It, it does. It, it. There's a statue. That's a cool looking statue. What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, this is gonna be that statue Teach was talking about. <laughs> you now have the statue. Yeah, admit, I am enjoying this game. It's pretty fun. It's weird and stupid, but it's it's got that uh, very old school horror flair. There are many mystery novels. Yeah, hey, I've read this one. The biggest mystery is why are you stopping to look at books? <laughs> Excuse me. So we got the statue. So that probably that probably means we're we're good to go. Perhaps, perhaps. I kinda wanna see if I can go into that cellar in the kitchen. Oh, hey Cass. Funk is mandatory for old games. Absolutely. Like old horror games are a little quirky, and it's great. A little a weird, weird delay. Now can we eat ourselves off the balcony? Gods, you're not held in size. You can't fit under that table. Twist ending. Scissor man falls on his own scissors and gets got by gods. Nope. It simply will not open. Fuck, he's locked me in and he's taken his time to kill me. I feel like murder is a game to the scissor man. All right, so I feel like, oh, hey Eva. All right, um, let's just check this kitchen because I think that's the only place I haven't fully explored as of now. Because I haven't looked here. Oh. Something is written. You have discovered hint number eight. Okay. Look at that. We found another hint. That I don't know how to read. Okay. What's down here? Is he waiting for me again? <laughs> it's like, goop. The pantry. There's a small open space. All right, let's try going outside again. <sighs> Rock feet scissor all the time. I love that, Lilith. Th 
I really want to know, like, I got to get some more information about it. Okay. I really want to know why Rick was murdered by his dog. And where did his body go? Okay. So I need more information. Like there was nothing. Didn't look here. There's some tells. That doesn't look like information about a castle. Maybe in the upstairs rooms. There are books and stuff. Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Dog. Mmm, fresh body. Om nom 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 nom. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you get the dog boxes of salmon, you know? That, oh, that was a bug. Hmm. How dare you? How dare you disturb me? Oh, my stream, uh sputtered a little bit there. Hopefully everything is okay. Little buggy. Stupid little stupid little stink bugs. They're all over the place here in southern Illinois and they like to just pop in and say hello ever now and again. Oh my goodness you're moving fast. I'll just put you on the floor for now, and I'm going to regret that decision later. Nope, Bug is very much alive. Yep, this is a time for Tipsy to do her, to earn her keep. Tipsy! <sighs> Full of canned salmon. There we go. Alright, so we had a, a guest appearance by... Stink bug number seven. Ah. Fucking stink bug wanted to land on my shoulder, apparently. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Run bug, that's that's the real <laughs> scissor bug. Okay, let's see. Let's see, where, oh, where? Tipsy's like, I want none of tonight's stream. Yeah, Tipsy's not even sleeping in her little cat bed. Like, what's she doing? Okay, I need to find more information. Maybe it's hidden in the chandelier. I have detergent. What am I going to use that for? Yeah, I still, uh, still have detergent, right? And I have a statue. <laughs> Eat the bug, free protein. I would uh, rather not. Okay, nothing, nothing. Closet, there's a gown hanging inside. Fascinating. What the fuck kind of noise was that? <laughs> oh, that's the noise I make when I wake up in the morning. Okay, where? Oh shit. Oh, fuck me. Okay, um, I guess, uh, oh, that's a death animation. <laughs> the old man wasn't dead. Plot twist. The old man is Scissor Man. Scissorbug, Scissorbug does everything a Scissorbug can. Okay. I guess the alarm clock, I'm assuming, 
that's what that was. I thought I, uh... Okay. All right. Where, oh, where is this castle information? That's the real, the real mystery here. Huh. This picture, it's a bit crooked. Uh -huh. What? Something is written on the back. I found it! The location of the Barrow's Castle. If only I would have known to look at this obscure painting. You have confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. And I can confirm that it is now time to get the fuck out of here. Okay. Scissorman gonna be uh, waiting for me when I open this door. Nope. Okay. It's weird that he just disappeared when I loaded the game after dying. Games in the 90s. <laughs> that explains the hunching over. Games in the 90s didn't feature a hacking minigame yet. What the f <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Scissor Ninja! Oh, what? <laughs> this game is so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Curious, uh, Vanessa, how many scenarios are there? Since you said you've played the majority of this game before. Sheer, 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 sheer. All right, we evaded him again. I like how he just like disappears. He's just like hiding in the walls. What next is he gonna like jump from the chandelier and tackle me? All right, let's uh, let's try this again. Can we finally leave? <laughs> what do I actually keep mine? Please, no snip snip. It's like Scissor Man, the SRS surgeon that nobody ever wants to go to. Please don't murder me. <laughs> what? What the fuck is wrong with this dog? <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I kind of expected that to happen, but I was just like, nah. Okay. Lightning's not gonna strike twice, right? Three chapters in the game? All right, we're almost there. Here, dog. Eat my powder. So what do I need to do to defeat Doggy Dog? Do I need a can of salmon? <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna have a standoff. Oh my god. Yep, oh, that's weird. It looks like the game might have frozen. But that's weird, because I can still move the mouse around. Oh, never mind. No, oh, it moved just enough for me to get murdered again. Soap? Do you want some soap? Oh, that's mean. Wow. 
I mean, I guess that's I guess that's one way to get past the dog. <laughs> dog deserves a treat. Nope. Instead, dog gets dish soap in the eyes. Well, at least we didn't have to kill the dog. I would not like that. The dog will recover. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and put that brightness back to normal. Oh wow, that is a huge difference. Wonder if Gats is able to get the statue all right. Better go to the police station. Yes, you better. That's murder puppy. A little less sad for it. What's over here? Ah, oh, Rick's house. Tipsy. Think I hear you creaking around in the background. Scissor cat. Well. I teach it was my turn this time. What happened? You want to know about what happened? Scissor man attacked me. Ain't got no choice but to believe in him now. Do I? Are you hurt? No. Got the statue too. You're not even going to mention that Rick got murdered by his own dog? Huh? You'd regret it if you did, prof. Prof. What about Rick? Oh, by the way, teach, I found a clue. Yo, the new Pokemon Snap game. Oh yeah, didn't that come out today? I think. Ooh, Scissor Cat. That's perfect costume. Castle in England called the Barrow's Castle. Real horrors that lime trap. <laughs> the Barrow's Castle, the place where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated here. Uh, you don't say the Barrows lived at the Barrow's Castle. Makes sense. Probably right. You want to go? I mean, mine is the well. Yes. Let's go. Then be on the first plane in the morning to England. Fascinating. I'll go with you. And there we have Buggy Bug flying around again. Eh, go away. Nobody likes you. Probably chilling on my shoulder or something again. Huh. Why does it have to get warm again? Stupid bugs. There's no time to go home. Okay. Where am I going then? I guess we're going here. Hmm. Research never sleeps. <laughs> heard that you're going to England. You heard right, nosy bitch. I'm envious. I wish I had applied for a passport too. Ugh. God, you fucking fucker. Get out of here. God. This bug. <laughs> well. Yes. Take it you're a winter girl, Chloe. Kind of. I mean, I'm from Florida originally, but I definitely... That's probably why I hate summer because Florida. <sighs> God, why? Why must you fly? Can you just crawl around and be quiet and chill like some of some of you stink bugs there? Stop it. Okay. If I see you again, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to get rid of you. Okay, where did that bug go? I saw you bouncing something over here. Alright, well. That'll probably just startle me again. 
Okay. It's kind of cute. Well, I'm glad y'all glad y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> Now I'm feeling itchy. <laughs> well, I'll be. Okay. Well, you'll be what? Dead soon? But I don't know if cats will like it. Yeah, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. Okay. Alright. See you at the airport. First thing in the morning. <laughs> Let's see, is the bug on me anywhere? I don't see the bug. Okay, so we did the police. Stop by and see Edward. Okay, I guess we should. Forget the game, the Chloe Stinkbud episode is more entertaining. <laughs> yes. It's like, screw scissor man, we have scissor bug. My psych professionals made me squirm. It's refreshing to see the pro squirm for a change. <laughs> Know about it already? Okay, I just saw it on the news. There was another murder. This time by Scissor Pup. Everything in this game is gonna have a scissor prefix, you know. It's just the way it is. By the way, we're thinking we should go back to the Granite Scissor Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere that there might be danger. Oh, I see. That sounds reasonable. We're going to England tomorrow, so I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we're going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. <sighs> right, literally the entire time no one was typing at all. <laughs> uh, if we don't do anything, he'll kill me too. Oh, okay. I want to go along to help. Edward, that is noble of you. Please, gay. Okay. Well, I'll... Please look. Okay, we're going to go investigate a murderous demon who may be over 80 years old and has killed multiple people. So we're gonna bring the kid with us. Makes... Makes sense? Yeah, totally. Okay. Scissor gay space rocks. Yes. Scissor rocks. Gay scissor rocks. We heard you're going to the Barrows Castle. All these... All these dialogue points are pointless. We've decided to go with you too. You have. Oh, we're gonna have a whole army. This will be a good chance to see a castle, and it sounds like fun. Alright, who wants to play be place bets on who's gonna die? Scissor crimes. Alright, I already went here. Never seen a straight scissor. <laughs> They're all a little gay. Heard you're going to England. Yes. I am getting deja vu. I feel like we already had this conversation, Danny. Alright. Oh, I guess you can't go to Rick's Castle anymore. No time to go. Oh, no, it was just blocked by that amazingly animated cloud. And I guess we're not going there. Is it time to go talk to Gats? All right. I feel like I'm just wasting time here. Ellen, are you all right? Yes, I was able to get the statue. And I found a clue. All right, the inspector told me about going to the... Barrow's Castle. Suddenly we've got ten people going to England. <laughs> Criminy. <laughs> this is supposed to be a serious business. Super serial. Contact the police in England, and I've also arranged a rental car from the airport. Just one car, please. For ten people. We're coming to get you, scissor man. This time you'll be doing the running. Ha <laughs> ho! Chloe's chat is eventually going to talk like Smurfs, but instead of saying Smurf, it'll be Scissor. Scissor, Scissor. Scissor, Scissor, Scissor. Scissor, Scissor. 
I just noticed you changed your avatar. Represent. Oh, hey, Meta. Oh, look at that. It's like Indiana Jones. I feel like that was the most pointless... <laughs> pointless animation. <laughs> like, in case you don't know... Because we've only said it 37 times. We're going to England. Hmm. We're camping, apparently. Okay. Maybe we'll find Zoe. Zoe is apparently camping. Oh, hello. She's coming out of the bushes to scare you, Teach. Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh, no! Jennifer is missing, too. Yes. They can't be missing. They must just be murdered. The castle. Hurry. Last scenario. Well, that answered my question, Vanessa. You answered it with three. And it's just, that's nice when it's like, this last scenario. It's not scenario three. It's final scenario. This looks cool. What's wrong? Let's run. Oh. Everyone's he waiting. speaks. Oh, yes. Huh? Thanks, Melody. The floor is crumbling under the might of your awesome super chat, Melody. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <sighs> well, I'll take a moment to uh, also say, if you have not liked the liked the stream, please go ahead and do that. I mean, it looks like we got 35 likes, so everybody here may have liked it. But it looks like people are trickling in and out every now and again. Uh, 35 likes. Or did we have 35? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's a castle. Oh, that's cool. It's moving with my cursor. Yeah, and also have to do an obligatory shout out to the Patreon or anyone who has not joined or not know of it yet. There's links in the bottom in the description of every video, including the stream. If you want to check out the Patreon, you get access to Discord and other things, depending on how much you are able and willing to to contribute. But regardless, I appreciate you all. For just showing up and helping make this whole YouTube experience possible. Looks like it will not open. This reminds me of like... It's like a medieval version of the entryway to the Resident Evil mansion in the first game. I forget, I forget what the name of the mansion is in the first game. Oh. It is dark. It is dark. Oh, are we actually using my flashlight? What? Oh, hi there. <laughs> How you doing? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You doing great? Good thing you didn't fall through. Beth, are you all right? Are you no, all right? Everyone's lost. Oh no. Hang in there, Beth. Ain't in there, Beth. I want to look around some more. Voice acting. Are we going to still wander around Chef's here? kiss. The key to defeating Scissor Man is here somewhere. The key to losing to Scissor Man to is everyone splitting up. Beth, you should stay here. The Adams family. Mmm. You've got to be joking. I'm not going to leave us alone again. I'm going with you. Okay. Somebody's got, you know, somebody's thinking right. All right. So, uh, who thinks Beth is going to die? Or, okay, I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that happened a lot quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> oh my God.
That was ridiculous. <laughs> like, screw this, I'm coming with you. Ah! My god. Poor Beth. Oh, we get to watch it again. Oh, so there's like a little trap door. Or he just burst through the shitty foundation of the castle floor. Up, uh, I guess this is where we're going. Oh. Okay. I, I literally hit a dead end there. All right, let's uh let's try that one again. I think Beth was wearing blue. Next game, but no death playthrough. Okay, what? What do I Um what am I supposed to grab onto here? Huh. Okay. Absolute chef for Beth all. Poor Beth. What am I supposed to click on? What the fuck? Huh. Alright, anybody? Anybody got any, uh, any pieces of wisdom here? Cause this is uh this is not working out yeah. but what else I mean I guess I could have gone to a different doorway in the the main foyer okay okay still got let me use the statue okay is there anything I can do here or am I just kind of fucked do I need to do I need to reload it yeah, let's see what the instruction manual says, uh, about the panic button. Is there anything you can do about that? When, uh, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's funny. The little picture in the instruction book for the panic mode is this part. <laughs> that's fitting. What am I supposed to do? Escape mode is activated. Specific music theme accompanies the escape mode. All right. All right. Intermission map scenes. Data loading screen. Inflict. This contains the hints you discovered during the game. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Interesting. And character as well. This is like a legit instruction book. All right. Scenario two. Got. Might be, might be best. Let's see. The main character is determined by the number of times Harris has spoken to in the corridor. He's spoken two or more times, then Jennifer becomes the main character. Interesting. Endings except ending E are determined according to how many conditions were met. In the last scenario. Hmm. Helen is the protagonist in the last scenario. Something must be dropped down this shaft when deciding which of the three shafts. That's correct. That means... That means nothing to me. Well. Um. I really wish I would have saved it. Oh, boo. Well, this should... Is that at the beginning of Scenario 2? Or at the end of Scenario 2? Uh... Okay, well... Okay, let's, uh... Here's some pliers. It's a cinematic adventure. Well, 
Um, well, I'm going to load it and hope we don't have to redo too much here. Fuck me. I wonder if Gots was able to get that. Oh, good, 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 good. Gots are, we already beat Gots. Better go to the police station. Okay. Let's try this again. Can we just skip every line of dialogue, please? That would be absolutely great. Is there a skip dialogue button? Hey, Teach, it was my turn this time. I don't give a flying fuck, Guts. Ain't got no choice but to believe in him now, because I would never believe a woman, because I'm a sexist pig. I assume that was, you know, the hidden subtext of what Gots was saying. What an intriguing case. I would love to see this, Scissor Man. <laughs> you regret it if you did. Alright, we done? I found a clue. It's a castle in England called the Barrows. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll make sure I save it when we get to the castle next time. So bear with me. What a wide dude. There's lots of different lines to follow. I think I already read that. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty complex for the time, yeah. I love games that have multiple endings. Yes, let's go. Let's be on the first plane in the morning. So go through a different door, so maybe Beth won't die this time. Yeah, she won't get sucked into the the black hole. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Alright. Why? Why can I not skip? Uh, we've learned a bit of information. Blah, blah, bloop. You're going to England. Says everyone in this scene. I mean, just click one button and be like, Your party has increased to ten people. Alright, leaving. <sighs> Assistant inspector in charge of the case. It's going to England. It's pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. I bet it when we join you. Don't think I have a choice here. Okay. All right. I apologize, y'all. <laughs> My goodness. Can we just skip all of the dialogue, please? Um, well, I should stop by and see Edward and kidnap him. Okay. Miss Maxwell, I heard this man is back. You know what about it? You know about it already? I just saw it on the news. Oh my god, there was another murder. Blah, blah, bloop, bleep, bleep, bleep. By the way, I'm thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. Don't think any Edward should be staying anywhere that there might be danger. But instead, let's just take him straight to the danger. Suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes. Going to a castle called the Barrows. <laughs> May I go too? I believe that is out of the orphanage's budget. Ugh. If we don't do anything, he'll kill me too. This is when, uh... One thing that stinks about some old games no options to like skip dialogue and skip cutscenes and stuff <sighs> okay now loading our games have evolved so much absolutely I like horror games that are actually scary, though. 
I don't like how horror games devolved into like action games for a solid number of years. I feel like they're finally starting to get back to like more horror. Like as great as Resident Evil 4 was, I feel like Resident Evil 4 ruined horror games for like a solid five-ish or more years. Cause it's just like, let's just take puzzles and horror and survival and desperation and turn it into a fast-paced horror game where it's not scary at all. It's great. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. We've gone from a hunched over dude with scissors and we now have a nine foot tall vampire woman. What? What a world we live in. What a world. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much beat me to it there, Vanessa. Are we good? Are we... I think we're... I think we're good to go. <sighs> okay. So we should be back at the castle in uh, about... 20 hours at this rate. Oh, and I found a clue. Right? The inspector told me about going to the uh, Barrow's Castle. I get it. That's where we're going. <laughs> I feel like people repeat themselves so much. It's crazy, like, compared to, like, newer games, too, like, how little amount of dialogue there actually is in this game, too. Because it's like a couple sentences, a couple sentences, and then the conversation is over. And then you play games like Metal Gear Solid that have cutscenes that take half a day. Airport. Totally, it shows how much indie developers change the scene with games so weird like PT or Squirrel Stapler. What is squirrel stapler? Do I want to know? Is it exactly what it sounds like? And I apologize if you could hear that racing car in the background. Oh, strange. Suppose someone can design a horror game based on elections. Ugh. Too real. Love the indie scene. Yeah, indie horror is great. I love developers that are making, like, retro-style games. Like, if you could give me, like, more, like, retro-style Resident Evil games. And we need another Silent Hill. I heard rumors that a Silent, at least one Silent Hill game is currently being worked on. And supposedly, we're gonna get a... I heard there's supposed to be an announcement sometime this summer about the game, so... That was you driving to the mansion. <laughs> I mean, you got me. You got me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like if this was a movie, it would just be like them shaking the camera. That's all that actually happened. Okay, where? Little buggy boo is back. Where did where did bug go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear the bug bouncing around. Any game made by Puppet Combo. Oh, yes. I've only played like one or two Puppet Combo games, but I've seen a... Jesus. I've seen a, like, I think like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye maybe play a couple of them. Yes. Oh, Bendy and the Ink Machine. That would be a good one. I do like Bendy. I don't find that game to be super scary, but I love the art style. Oh, hey, Ghost Soldier. I'm glad you can make it. Bendy on the ink machine. Overwrite, okay. Absolutely okay. All right. Okay, this bug is going to be... The death of me. So that's where I came in. Let's see. I wonder if I like need to find an item to survive that encounter when I uh, fall down. I wonder who this is. Small handprint is plainly visible on the table surface. Edward, where are you? Okay, we can go this way. 
<laughs> this is nice and creepy. It's a cabinet. It's empty. Gasp. Oh no. It's a bunch of creepy old white men. You, you monster! Um, I wonder if I could have gone around the other way. Probably. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go upstairs. Let's try that. Oh, hey, Ashley. Okay. Let's see. How about this door? Okay. Where to? Where to? Where to? Where to? Where to? What's that a picture of? Oh, shit. Shit! No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. There you go. There you go. Here. You're a smart cookie. Alright, let's try Is that a door? Or like a hallway, maybe? <laughs> Creepy says ours. Alright, here we go. Bed sheet. Bed sheet again. You stand no chance against the magical bed sheet, says our man. I'm angry. Oh, the music stopped. Did he get defeated? Okay, okay, bug. You really, you're really harsh in my mellow. Okay, found a little cup, and you're gonna stay under that cup now. So you're done for the night. I'll take care of you later. I forgot to put on makeup today. Really? Really, Helen? That, that's, that's where your mind goes right now? Harsh meadows. Okay. Don't kill it. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill it. I'm gonna... I usually just let them out on my patio or let them fly away off, off my balcony. But I just have it chilling under a little plastic cup for now. It's usually what I do with them if I, uh... I don't know what to do with them at the moment. Nothing but dished. Sounds like my romance life. The cage is locked. Okay. What is this a picture of? Portrait of a woman. Hmm, kind of look like a dog or a cat because of all the pixelation. So I looked at the dresser. Can I look at the top of this? Old cosmetics box. Oh. All right, we're good. Leave. All right, I'm gonna save it again. I probably don't need to. Yeah, checking the pictures seems to be good because that was a necessary clue in the last place in that scenario two. Okay, let's see what we got here. I haven't found anything that would, uh, Seem like it would help me. It won't open. That was an awful noise. Like, let me out. Let me out. Okay. I think I already went. Right. This is where Scissor Man popped out of the fireplace, I believe. Wait, 
Can I look? No, never mind. I guess we're gonna... Because we're going in the door. Alright. Oh shit. It looks like there's something in the corner there that was white, but I don't know what it was. Oh, we have a we have a whole another hallway. <laughs> you can in Resident Evil. Yeah. Oh, hide under the bed. Is that what we're doing? What? No. Get in here. Get in there. What if he saw me get in and then he just shoves the shears right through the door and then blood? That's what I thought was going to happen when he like shoved his shears into that couch I was hiding under at that one point. Oh, that was a intense zoom in. What the f fucking hell? Fly it off. Fly it off. What is happening in this game? I was, um... I, I have to say, the last thing I expect to, when I open a drawer is for a animated severed hand to come out and choke me to death. Like, first we got that weird mask. And we got a severed hand. Yeah, we'll have to check out Clock Tower 2 and 3 after this. Although I have heard Clock Tower 2 is, uh, pretty awful. Alright, let's try this other thing. Is there gonna be, like, a, a severed different body part in there? Uh, can I look at the top? There are... Yeah, I'm not going to open that again, because please don't play too. Oh, is it that bad? I kind of spent a lot of money on that one. <laughs> I have to play it someday. Oh. This is, a. Uh... I was just about to say, this is peaceful. And this, this motherfucker got to be like... You can have no peace, Helen. The only peace you're gonna have is when you're cut into pieces. Oh no. <laughs> if you spent money. Oh yeah, I think I spent about $60 on Clock Tower 2. Which is actually pretty cheap for it, sadly. Oh no. Oh no. What do we got here? You cannot see me? Am I gonna put it on his head? Oh goodness. <laughs> what? Oh, I guess I'm, I have no choice what door to go out of there. Okay. Is he... Has he been foiled? Okay, he... He has been foiled. Oh, my back. Oh. Is this the... Oh, yes. Okay, okay. That's, uh... So this connected to that first hallway I went through originally. Let's go in here. And see what we got. It's just smashed to pieces. What a shame. 
Let's do bot. That looks like something, but I guess not. Hmm. There are probably... Great. <laughs> Uh, what is that? Frying pan looks very heavy. That's weird. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Eee! Oh. Hi there. Here, just don't scare me like that. Don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? <laughs> No. <laughs> oh well. It's a good looking place anyway. Quite oh well. What are you saying? Scissorman is lurking around here somewhere. It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because <laughs> he is after you. Thanks. Thanks, Harris. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. I wonder which door it opens. Yeah, I wonder too. <laughs> Jesus. You better find a I wonder too. Man soon. I'm kind of surprised Scissor Man wasn't just there and be like, boom. I'm killing you anyway, even though I'm not after you. Oh, okay. Let's save it again, so in case I uh, fall into another death trap. Just a hunch, but I think you are fucked. What the hell? Where'd you go? That was weird. Sarah's hiding in the box. <laughs> uh, a row of dried up brown things. Wonderful. What do we got here? It's empty. Hmm. Peculiar. What do we got here? Square board has been fit into the floor. Do I have any items? So we have a fireplace key. That's that's nice of you to tell me what the key is for. Now I just gotta remember how to get back to the locked fireplace. Calling it now, he the bad guy. Evil Harris. Okay. Don't remember exactly how to get to the fireplace. Aw, thanks for saying that, artist paintball. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before. Ugh. That is that is unpleasant. Okay, let us see. What do we got? Okay, let's let's go find that fireplace before we before we get a little too crazy with the explorations. It's not in here, is it? Nope. That is where the demon hand is. Demon hand. Yep, yep, yep. To get another shot of her, but it has been a while. Hmm, just pretend that didn't happen. That was weird. Can't really 
Portrait of the Heirs. Can I... Can I not look at the one that mysteriously was just like, eat? <laughs> There's something on the table. It's a key. Oh! What do you know? Now that one does not have a inventory to that. Helen, Helen, Helen. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That took too long. Oh. Guess we're not going that way. Okay, there's a fireplace. Wait, did I just go back in the door? I came out of okay 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 okie dokie what else um i forget no there's a bedroom is there anywhere i can hide in this room because that would be great There you go, fake out. Hurry up and open the door. Whew. I don't think there is anywhere to hide in this. Nope, it's not even let me go in there. All right, let's go back the way we came. Let's just run in circles. All right. I feel like I'm getting into this game. This stream's been a little longer than our past ones. Gotta finish it. All right, which, which door? Which door? Ah, yes, yes, yes. This is what I was looking for. All right, let's just lean back and relax for a minute. He did it! Oh my god! I didn't know he would actually do that. Ugh. You jerk! Yeah, it did look like there was something next to that fireplace, Casey. It doesn't let me interact with items when he's chasing me, though. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Before he comes in the room and I'm screwed. This, this guy! He is a relentless. What happens if I just go back in? Can I hide under that table in the middle? He would, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> he would never find me. I'm choking on my own bullshit. <laughs> well, I found a mansion key. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope, it doesn't look like I can, uh... Let's try... You know, if you ran, that would... that would be grand. Okay, so we know Beth is in the first room. Or at least, uh, in theory, if... She didn't already die off-screen because I didn't go to her soon. Uh-oh! Well? Yep, he's still there. Oh, 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, fuck me. Got greedy. Was expecting to be able to, to slip right by. Okay, where can I hide? Should I go back to that? I can't get back to the kitchen. That's... Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> that is not cool. That's not cool. I might have to load another save file. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's weird. He started much further away that time. Alright, um... Oh. Uh, where where the hell can I hide? Cause is he gonna be at the other end of the hallway somehow again once I open this door again? Which makes no sense. I mean <laughs> it's not where I should draw the line with the logic of this game, really. Okay, good. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh shit, that's not where I wanted to go. Fuck me. God shit, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna try hiding in that closet again, and maybe... Maybe I'll get lucky this time. Maybe I won't get murdered. Maybe I should just open the drawer and let the- and throw the hand at him. Damn, he, he like, fucking skipped towards me real fast. Oh. Hey, Sammy. Glad you could pop in. Caught up in work, but I wanted to send some love. Yeah. If you can stay, please do. Pry be on here. Yeah. You're right, Melody. I do need a good gaming chair. A little cushion under my butt, but it's... Not uh not doing its not doing its job right now. I think it's actually making me more uncomfortable. Ah. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Had to do a little pirouette before, you know. Okay, where can I hide? It's like I'm thinking like Go back to the kitchen? Oh, there- I can interact with that. Okay, okay. Nope. I- Ah! Late, great flashback stream. Dinner time. Oh, Glad you could join us, Ember. Mm. Mm. Y'all know it is. I have to support our girl here. Oh, thanks. You're so sweet, Sammy. Okay. Let's let's do the thing. Oh. Yeah. I did not realize that that was like a crowbar. Yes, I said Kroper. All right, look at that. Where to now? So we got the fireplace key. I would, uh, I have a hunch that a fireplace key might be used in a fireplace. Let's see if this, uh, this other key I found, the mansion key opens this door. It's a massive bad lock on the door. Does not look like it'll open. Yes, it does not. Let's see, can I open this door? Uh -huh. Ha! Presto. It will not open. 
this looks just like the downstairs hallway. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, look at that, look at that. Okay. Where, oh where? Creepy portrait. Another creepy portrait. Why is the hallway like different? It's weird. Oh. Oh. What's happening? Why are you losing your shit? Oh my god, it is uh, the sunlight. I have not seen it in years. That was weird. <laughs> like, huh? Sunlight? Is there a... Is there a point to this? Uh... Okay, there's like a little gap over here. Nope. Okay. Well, that seemed entirely pointless. That was weird. And we got another door. Look at that. Okay. I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting real lost. This, uh, stairs? I would assume. Yes, it is stairs. Okay. Oh, it has been opened. That was nice of them to do that. Okay, fireball key. Where? Where was the fireplace? Where was the fireplace? Oh, shit. Damn you, says a man. Damn you. I wonder if he comes at scripted moments. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Can I hide in the box this time? Yes. Whew. Well, gotta go. Tune in with my own Google account next time. Oh, thanks for coming, Ellen. Is that Ellen or Ellie? Sorry, my memory is bad. I know it was E-L. Okay. We're good. I feel like if I try to hide in that box again, Scissor Man is gonna scissor fuck me up. Okay. Well. Guess it wouldn't let me use the stew pot. <laughs> It's like one pot is enough. Okay, where? Okay, so I still have the mansion. I still have. Oh, I still have the fireplace key. That's right. Okay, so where? Where is. Elin? Elin. Okay. Hey, wait, you got, is there something, something I can interact with here? Many of the leaves look diseased, interesting. Wonder where the water is draining from. 
Scissor man's bathhouse. Ugh. God, my memory is just not doing great. It's like if I could... Oh, fuck, yeah, this is the stupid haunted hand room. Haunted hand. Yep, that's... I guess that's where my brain went. <coughs> that's true, that's true. That's true, okay, so you can do laps around them. Is this the fireplace? Chimney that Santa might come out of. Okay, Helen. Whatever you say. I swear, some of the uh, internal dialogue these characters have during I'm being chased by a murderer. But, you know, this would be a great place for Santa. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Wait, is there a fireplace upstairs? I can't remember. I know there's like, I think I've seen like three fireplaces. Can't. So it's not that one, obviously, where, uh, you know, Santa is apparently coming to the Barrow's castle. Uh, oh. Probably painted by one of the barrows. It's signed barrows. Oh, you're a smart cookie. Fuck! Cannot have any nice things. So now I can't even look at the damn fireplace to see if that's the one. Why? Why do you? Why do you do this to me, Slizzler man? No! What? What are you doing? Helen, you're dumber than you look. <laughs> Haunted hand. Okay, can I can I explore the fireplace real quick? Nope. And so no go on that one. Nope, 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 nope. What are you freaking doing? Oh my god, why are you so dumb? <laughs> oh my god. You do it every other time you go around the table and you're like, oh, this time uh, Scissor Man's here, so I think, you know, instead of going around him, I'm gonna give him a hug. Ah! Okay. We got, a. Uh, we got no scissor man. I just want to look at the stupid fireplace. Is he going to come this time? Okay, so that's a fireplace. Hide under the bed! You can get under that. Like, go around the side. Okay, where is he? Oh, God. Oh, no. Which way are you going? Ha <laughs> fake out. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, you almost got me there, Scissor Man. Okay, where the hell can I hide this time? Helen's bringing a smile every time she gets killed. Probably. Probably part of the story. Like, each death, she actually comes back to life. Okay, it doesn't look like I can interact with that again. Game. This fucking game. 
Is this the way to the, uh, oh, hello, hello there. Okay, so we'll go across. What do we got here? Is that, is that so? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck is that laugh? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't found the, um, I'm looking for a fireplace because I remember encountering a fireplace that had like a locked panel in the bottom of it. I don't remember how to get to it. It's like, I feel like every time I find a damn fireplace, Scissorman's like, oh, hello. I'm not going to let you interact with that one today. Ah. <sighs> Oh, 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 near. Yeah, yeah, cheeky little bastard. It's like such a, such a, like a horror movie staple. The monster is slower than molasses, but he always catches you. It's like Michael Myers. It's like just doing a leisurely walk. Uh, this looks like somewhere I can hide. Maybe... Maybe. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. Fuck. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna stand here and get murdered because that's what Helen does. Alright. Oh, thanks for coming, Trucy. I know this one's run a little long. I am determined to beat this game, so I appreciate all of y'all that are hanging in here with me. I feel like that looks like a coffin. I don't know. Shit, am I fucked again? <sighs> um, yeah, it looks like I might be fucked. Pebbles the Cursing Cockatoo. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at those smooth moves. I would, like, shit a brick if he was just like, ah, oh, just kidding, I'm upstairs now. <laughs> that is the room you want. Oh, with the sarcophagus? Is that the room I want? Son of a bitch. Of course it is. Ah! Oh, here we go. Can I push him over the balcony? Oh, shit. Oh, god. Fuck! Ah! Let us load a file. That's the room I want. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Why did why did it save? This is not where I saved it. Like I would not save it with him just being like Chasey Chasey Stabby Stabby. Such a, such an interesting, uh, horror monster. You know what we need? Giant, creepy, hunched over dude with giant garden shears. You gotta admit, I imagine this, this game is kind of stressful till still today. I mean, imagine this would be, like, pretty terrifying back when it came out. 
Okay, okay, so let's figure out. Also, about that hand in the drawer, you mash square to get it up. Oh! So maybe I need to uh, mash. Oh, cool. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe I need to mash. Does mashing square do anything when he is like, when you're in panic mode and he's like slowly approaching you? Okay. Here we go. Oh. Nolan, Nolan what, what happened? happened? I guess, guess that's why I couldn't hide in there. That would have been awkward. Ow, ow, ow. Are you all right? <laughs> Damn. Somebody attacked <laughs> That's me the sensor. Damn. My head is still throbbing. What about Jennifer? Have you found her? No, no, not yet. Not yet. That's okay. I'll help you look. No, you're you're You'll good. Just to. keep keep taking a nap. You're fine. What do we got here? Many tape recorders on the floor. Probably no one. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Cloth sack. It's really heavy. It's lead balls about. All right. Okay. So still need to use that fireplace key. But I have got some lead balls. After all the time I spent getting rid of them, they come right back. Uh, that explains uh, why I could not go through that door. Can only dodge a limited number. Okay. There's nothing useful here. Yeah, you could like take a chemical and like throw it at Scissor Man's face. Oh, it's a sheer delight. I love it. Thank you so much for coming, Ash. Okay, um, where is the fireplace? It's waiting for that ball comment. You know, I didn't want to drop the ball on that one, Casey, so, you know. <laughs> Where, 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 where do I need to go to unlock the fireplace? I just, my brain, my brain does not want to find this locked, yeah, cause it's not this one. This is the one where it's like, oh, Santa Claus is coming. I was like, can Santa Claus sit on Scissor Man? That would be great. It's like the only thing that's come out of that chimney was Scissor Man, so why are you thinking about Santa? Okay. I feel like it might be like this fireplace in this room, but I can never interact with it because Scissor Man's like, oh, just kidding. It's a usable key, don't you have to select it? Yeah. Yeah, but there was a fireplace I interacted with that did mention like, hey, it's locked. Yeah, there's a gate on this one. Surrounding fence, okay. The gate is locked. Nope, not that. Okay. There we go. Got it. There's a passageway with a ladder inside the chimney. Crawling there would give me the creeps. What the fuck, Helen? Flashlight? Will that help? 
Look at that! We finally used the damn flashlight. Or did we use the flashlight? Did she just happen to crawl in there? Cosmetics case, it's locked and will not open. So I still got the fireplace key. Can I uh, unlock it? No? New Baruni on that one. What is this creepy thing in the corner? Is that a statue? What the hell? Please tell me how I was supposed to avoid that one. Was I supposed to, like, pull the statue? Upper right door, upstairs in the main hall. Got it. How many times have I died now? I feel like at least 30. Okay, so let's... Let's investigate this creepy statue. Okay, so he automatically is like, Hey, friend. Okay, where to now? Okay. Where the hell am I? Alright, I'm gonna cheat again and up the brightness a little bit. Because... Kaboom. Yeah. Those are some big-ass books. Wow, that... That's apparently a hiding place, too. It's like, you'd have to have really poor vision to not see me there. Okay. Alright, we good? Looks like we're good. So many thick books and none to stand out. Looks like I'm really drawn from around the world. Okay, what a collection, but no, there's no time to admire it. You are absolutely correct. What do we got here? What's this? You discovered hint number two. Look at that. I'm such a good gamer. Oh, there goes my PlayStation mouse. Okay, I'm gonna save it again. God, this place is... This place is a nightmare. So is there anywhere important that I've missed so far? Let me see, is there anything I can do with this statue? <laughs> Pro strat. And thank you, Vanessa, for telling me about the dodge. Because that, uh, that came in clutch. Tattered and braided Bible. Okay, what is this thing? Caricatured ominous images are everywhere. Religious robes are all covered with dust. So I guess you can't go back. Because I feel like that's where I crawled out of. Not that I want to go. All right, all right, all right. Do I want to adjust? Hello, Jennifer! Oh, that's awful. Uh, light bulbs? Oh no. Did I fuck it up? Jennifer. Oh god. Why? Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> what? That was so quick. 
Uh, um, okay. Um, all right. Let's try that again. Or, you know, save me time, Vanessa, is there... It's supposed to happen? Okay. I was just literally going to say, like, save me time, maybe. Maybe there's no point. These colors are looking... Looking washed out. Jeez, that's dark. Maybe we can just do a slight, slight color correction. Yeah. Yeah, that looks a little better. It's not as washed out. Okay, um, doesn't look like there's anything to do but go through the door. You have no friends by the time this is over, yeah? Oh, that stench. This room is permeated by the smell of blood. It's like a coffin in the corner. What is that? What do we got here? The chains are hanging from the walls. Many people have probably been putting these chains. Okay. What is this contraption? Torture instruments. This is the first time I've seen the real thing. But it's just a video game. Blood stains all over it. I was like, I don't care, I'd go through it, but I guess it's, uh, it's not a door. Can we, uh, drop a lead ball in here? What will that do? Nope. Okay. So we still got a fireplace key. I don't know if that's supp supposed to go away. Can you actually use the damn flashlight in this game? Uh -huh. Oh. What we got here? Oh. Black Blood's stains are all over the wall. Okay. Um, unless I'm incorrect, it looks like there's nothing to do in that room. Oh, is Jennifer's body gone? Yeah. Interesting. What do we got here? Rosa Pugh is just what kind of people came here. Not the kind of people I want to meet. Alright. Well. Well, that was an adventure. What was in this room again? Oh, this is just the book. Books, 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 books. Is there anything I can do with these books? Books are stacked up. Nothing gets by you, Helen. Let's see, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh. What do we... Okay. How do I get out of here? Am I, am I missing something? Here, statue. Do you want another statue? Images everywhere. Here, statue. Do you want to get slapped with a lead ball? Nope. 
How about you, cosmetic box? It's locked and it will not open. How about some pliers? Okay. This is the point in the adventure game when I'm just like, let's try everything. Oh. Okay. I'm behind the clues. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. How do you get out of here? There's nothing to interact with. There's the clothes. Another way out of the church. Mm, is that your way of giving me a hint, Vanessa? Half an hour before I clock out for the night. Yeah, I don't blame you. This has been a long one. <laughs> I'm stubborn. Could have easily probably divided this into two streams, but why? Why would we do that? Let's throw something. Is there something? Are there doors in? Is that something? Like I'd expect that to be a door. Is that a door? Ah ha ha! Look at that. Oh. Okay, here we are again. Well, I'm gonna turn that brightness uh, back off. Oh my, yeah, that is that is quite dark. Okay, where do we want to go now? Where do we want to go now? I mean, I guess I could go say hi to Beth. Then I run down the hallway and perish. Let's see. Yeah, the buzzing's getting louder. Where, what have I not explored yet? Yeah, I mean, I feel like... I don't want to grab Beth yet. Oh, that's, that's just that door. Oh, did we not chop down the tree on this one? Do I have anything? So I have a fireplace key still. A statue. What would a statue be used for? Where, oh, where would we use a statue? Well, can try talking to Beth, a little old Beth again. Helen, everyone's lost. Hang in there, Beth. Look at that, that pulsating mouse. I want to look around some more. It's me being impatient. Are we going to still wander around here? The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. It's gotta be. I've got to find it. Beth, you should stay I looked here. at the waterfall and it didn't look like there's anything I could do with that. You've got to be joking. I'm not going to be left alone again. I'm going with you. And this is how you get sucked into the black hole beneath the floor. Oh yeah, that's right. You have no control over this part. Jesus. No, 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 not that way. Not that way. Let's 
try to save you a bit of time. I appreciate you, Vanessa. Where is this final item? Ugh. I feel like this is a freaking maze. Well, I'm gonna go fight that hand since you said I could fight it off. Oh wait, I probably cannot fight the hand because... Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, the mouse is glowing orange. Whereabouts do I need to look for said item, Vanessa, to save me even more time? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. What does that mean? Look at that. The end of Beth. One in the hand is worth minutes in the game. It's, um, it's the hand. <laughs> All right. Got it. I just gotta... Gotta fend off. Well, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just load it and go back. Get the damn... The damn fucking hand. It's like, definitely been playing this more, more than two hours and 15 minutes. All right, here we go. Let's go get that hand. If I'm remembering correctly, it's all right. Ugh. Don't come, scissor man. Do not come for me. All right, here we go. Let's see. Is this a... Uh... Oh, got it. Ew. Step on it. Uh, was I supposed to use the lead ball? Ugh. How much longer do we have, Vanessa? <laughs> and if you're tired, gotta stab it with the quill. Is that like on the table? Aha. Ew. Tattered note. Spell to exercise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. What? What? That's it. <laughs> of course. Everything seems normal. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, which fireplace? Okay, like 
five or six more events. Ugh. So not in this fireplace, uh, uh, I guess. Let's see, where are the other fireplaces? You got the, uh... And you got that one with the hidden passage. And then you got the fireplace in the bedroom. But Scissor Man always comes for me when I go for that one. Is there any other fireplaces I'm not thinking of right? Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> Far left door up the stairs. Oh, am I, am I getting it right? Look at me. Look at me go. Got it on my first try. Even right before your hint. Oh, is this where we're finally using the flashlight? No. I want to scream, Helen. There's something in the mouse hole. Is it a battery? There's a key in the mouse hole. You now have the library key. What the fuck room is the library? Something back there, but it's... Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. The room off of the kitchen? Is there the room off of the kitchen? Where well, there was that locked room off of the, uh, the balcony. Forget, it will not open. So it's not that one. Pretty clear on that. Mm -hmm. Can we jump across? Nope. Didn't think so. So you tell me, this whole time, I've had a damn flashlight without batteries. Like, why? That's such a horror game bullshit. <laughs> okay, is this... is this where? Yes. Is this the door? Is this the room? Let's see... Will not open. Here I was thinking I was clever. I'm not. Okay. So, I mean, there are those books in the bottom by the church. Sort of like a small library. But there is nowhere in that room where you would use a key unless it's the cosmetics box. So where, where is the locked door? Go back. Okay.
So this way? Is that what you're saying? Is that, is that what you're... Is that what you're trying to tell me? Back room at the end of the hall? Okay, okay, okay. My, my, my... My strategy guide. Vanessa. Library key. Where? If I was a library, where would I be? Donde esta la biblioteca? Uh. What? What is that, Vanessa? <laughs> Q-I-T? Are you telling me to quit? You want me to quit? Wait. 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 What am I waiting for? Let's leave Chloe for the next check on her in the morning. <laughs> I'll still be playing this and my eyes will be bloodshot. And I've completely lost my mind more than I already have. It'll be great. Hey, you know, there's there's a door there. You could... I just can't remember where half these doors go. Okay. Constant motion. Now go back, back room at the end of the hall. That's where I went. There's some pipes to drop the lead balls into. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't recall. Is the door that's the dead end? Am I fucked, or can we get back up? Um, this music... Is still playing. There are pipes to drop lead balls into. So if I were a pipe, where would I be? He's going to be on the second? I feel like I'm going to drop something in the pipes. Might be on the second floor, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I do not know. Pipes, church? Hmm... Possibility. Let's check it out. Yep. Uh, well, looks like I can look at something. What do we got here? What is that? Character of a religious fresco is painted on the wall. Okay. Well. Well, I'm here. I'm going to just go in and see if this key works on that cosmetics box. Uh, I bet it does not, but, you know, why not? Why is this one part of the castle so damn dark? Wait, do I even, do I even still have the key? Did I pick up the key? Because I did die. Did I? I don't even remember. Did I pick up the key? Because <laughs> I got sucked up the chimney, but did I pick up the key after that happened or before it happened? And I didn't get it. I don't know. I can't keep up with this. This castle is dumb. All right. So we're back here yet again. Um, pipes. Where have I seen pipes? Or have I seen pipes? Well, I'm just gonna double check and make sure I got that key because my brain is uh, tired.
this up. There's mouse hole. Something in the mouse hole. Oh, I did not get the key. Just interact with it 27 times. Okay, there's a room with bookcases and scratches on the floor. Is that the room by the church? That has bookcases? Is there another room that has bookcases? Well, we could just go to every room again. So I'll save it this time. I should still have the key. Is that the room with Nolan in it? Shit, how the hell do you get to that room? Room at... Isn't that the room where the lead balls were in? Can't be that easy. Okay. It's very quiet. That is the room with Nolan. I remember that room. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Those are shelves, but not with books. Not those two doors. That goes to the little garden. That one goes to the little handy hand, the haunted hand. And this door goes to where? This door goes to here. <laughs> Memphis. It's not this room, is it? Can we, uh... Okay. So that's strange. Is there a room above that room where I have to drop the balls into and then they crash and break through the floor? Is that, is that what needs to be done? Okay. Trying to take a mental note where everything is. Finally, at this point, you know. Okay. Okay, so I think I should go upstairs, because there's nothing. I'm going to initiate REM sleep. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you for staying for nearly four hours, Kelly. Still playing. Wanted to drop in and say hey. It's buffering so... Oh, no. Well, I'm glad you could say hey, Zoe. Yeah, I'm being stubborn. Because I want to beat this damn game. And not very good at finding stuff. I appreciate the constant, like, 20-ish people that we have had and still have. Did I miss that door? Oh no, that's this door. <sighs> that was a weird noise. Unless that was just my feet. OK. 
Okay. Open. Okay, I've gone to like almost every door at this point. Oh shit. That was the last door! That was literally the last door. Shit. Well. Let me see if I can load it and uh, go into that door. Let's try that. So that way I don't have to feel like I'm running out of hiding places from this guy. You did get the copper. No, I did not get a copper book. What the fuck? There's a book in that room? Yeah, mother. Fucking game. Okay. I found the library, apparently. It was the last room. <laughs> okay. It's dark in here. I don't like this. Oh, it's in the bed. Someone has been reading books about demonology. How demonic of you. The words carved. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. Wonder what this means. I feel like that's gonna be a life or death situation. What do we got here? Candlestick encrusted with rust. It's a fire. Wonder who lit the fire. I don't think it was Scissor Man. I mean, it could be like the party of a thousand you took with me to this castle that is mysteriously... So many of them are missing. Oh, here we go. Here's this. This sounds like that room. Sounds like that room you were talking about. Vanessa. Oh yeah, oh, those look like pipes. Huh? There are books. There's one missing. Oh, there's the room with the copper book that you were talking about. Step. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and load it and grab that copper book. And then you want the dry pipe. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what that hint told me. Yeah, that's right. God, some of these old games can be so frustrating. It's so... It's just, like, so easy to miss items. I mean, I like that. I like, to some extent, that they don't just, like, are, like, brightly glowing, like, you know exactly what to do. But at the same time, it's, like, it's so easy to miss something to interact with with how finicky the controls are. And then the Scissor Man is just like, hello there. What do we got? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah! <laughs> I thought I interacted with this damn thing. You have the copper book. All right. Classic heart is a gem. Duh, three pipes, three paths. All right. All right, Scissor Man. Please. Please, uh, please rest for a little while longer so I don't have to go hide from you. You want the dry pipe, yes. All right, so... I feel like we gotta be pretty close. Cause I don't think there's much else to interact with in in the castle. 
Anyone gonna play Resident Evil? Absolutely, absolutely, Lilith. Already, I have had it pre-ordered for a while. Any books on philosophy? Some writing. Take the dry path. Just reading it, just in case, you know. I don't know if it's one of those things where it's like, you can only solve the puzzle if you've read the hint. Alright, let's go ahead and save this bad boy. Yeah. We're looking up online to see how long this game was. It was like, it'd take about two hours. I mean, the... That implies that I know what I'm doing. Okay, we have the Capper book. It looks like a Lego piece. One missing. Shove it in. Shove it in. I uh, guess that's um, guess we're not doing that. Okay. A step. Okay. What do we got up here? Letter boxes on the shelf. I wonder if there's something inside. There might just be. Okay, am I doing something wrong? Doing something wrong here? You gotta examine the scratches on the floor. Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh, hey, Elin. I assume same Elin from before. Elin Nacho Business. <laughs> I like it. Scratch marks on the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. Okay. So now... Can I shove my copper Lego into the bookshelf? There we go. It's alive! Oh. Oh. Deep shaft, there's a ladder going down. It's dark, I can't see anything. Shaft goes all the way down. Okay, which one is it? It's music. Lead balls. Do I just throw them down? every which way. So we said it was a dry one, but she didn't comment on the moisture content of any of them. And scene. And we're dead. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that happened. 
the the animals in this game are vicious. I'm guessing those were like rats, maybe. Let's see, and drop lead balls. Look how far down it goes. Should probably test it. <laughs> I like how the music stopped. Doesn't seem deep. Uh, is this how you determine which ones are uh, which ones are wet and which ones are dry? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe I should have just listened to you in the first place, Vanessa, instead of getting curious. <laughs> Oh, hey, Sammy. Welcome back. We're just dropping balls down some holes. You know, casual. Okay. Middle path it is. like the sudden stop of the music. I love how the entire eight polygons they used to make this character, absolutely. Classic. I mean, we could go real old school and play like the original Alone in the Dark, and that is literally like a handful of polygons making each character. That game is still terrifying though. That would be a fun one to play. I feel like Vanessa probably Probably, a. Uh, oh. Oh my. Are those bones? There are bones scattered all over the floor. She said calmly. Calmly. Gats. Gats. Yo, teach. <laughs> oh, you're alive. <laughs> Yo, teach. <laughs> Hey, what do you mean by that? Okay. That was an uh, enlightening conversation. Where is everyone? Aren't they with you? Scissorman <laughs> attacked us and we all scattered. Oh, I see. Let me bend down again. What do we do now, Teach? We've got to keep looking. There okay. has to be a way to kill Scissorman here somewhere. Uh, put the statue on the altar and everything explodes. That's probably something stupid like that. Why is he talking? Oh, Maya, you're still here. That's why he's trying so hard to get in our way. Yeah, then take this with you. Oh, nice. It might be useful. <laughs> Bullets, my only weakness. A pistol? What about you? It's okay. I've got another. Oh. <laughs> Can you use it? I was just going to say, you probably are aware yes. of the original Alone in the Dark, knowing your knowledge of that classic retro horror. That's all I think I was going to say. Means you're an amateur. Okay, we, we done here? This will be real practice. I'm just going to go back to calmly sitting here <laughs> amidst the pile of children bones. God. Why is it taking so long? Thank you. <laughs> what? All right. Oh. Fucking casual. Yes, alone in the dark. Yes. I remember really liking the third alone in the dark, like the Wild West themed one. Wasn't scary, but I felt like it was a really cool game. I have fond memories of it, and I haven't played the game in like 
probably 20 years. The ghosts of all the kids killed here. How terrible. Uh, oh, good night, Lilith. After Scissorman, I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> I ain't scared of no ghosts. Oh my god. Just like, I'm uh, just chilling, and he's like, what did you do on Friday? You know, just found a pile of children bones, and, you know, ghosts popped up, did run around the rosy. But I ain't scared of no ghosts. It was chill. All right, which door? Where are we, even? We went down the dry hole instead of the wet holes, and now we're back here. I was going to scream if the door was like, it won't open. So you want to return to the moving bookcase room. Where the hell did he go? Okay. Cool. It's this room, I believe. If my... If my memory serves me right. Can Scissor Man come in here and can I just like toss him into the fire? Oh. Get a little. Get a little. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's get this letter box. Assume that's what I need in here. Small wooden box. Strange, it sounds like something that's in this box, but... Of course! Of course, there's no way to open it. What the hell do I do now? What do I do now? Is there something that I can use to crush... Throw the box in the fire, just does it. Oh! I guess that's one way to open a box. By burning it. Could shoot it full of bullets. Oh, look at that fire. Oof. Of course, I could burn away the small outer box, and there's no way that it would damage the inner box. There's something inside. The small key. You have to know. Oh, look at that. We can open the cosmetic box. You can only learn that by getting a hint in another scenario line. Oh. It's one of those puzzles that, like, sure, but it's not the first thing I would think of by any means. Like, my first thought would be, like, is there, like, a machine that I can use to crush it? Is there a crowbar? Is there a hammer? Can I just drop it from the second floor? Okay, so where am I going? I am going to the cosmetic box. The convoluted game. Yeah, you don't say. Shooting open a box sounds like something they do in Texas. It'd be like Clock Tower, Texas Chainsaw Massacre crossover. I guess then you just have the chainsaw. And just like hold the box out and be like, hello, scissor man, can you chop the box open for me? I don't like that the items just like sit in your inventory after you use them. Okay, oh look at that, it's a heart-shaped key. How adorable. It came open. Piece of paper. Looks like a map. Passages drawn under the fountain. Oh, you're right, Casey. We can go through the fountain. Just needed the map to figure that one out. I mean, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that, I'm guessing that, uh, 
I mean, she's, she said there's a passageway marked on the map behind the fountain. So, alright, let's save it again. It only took me 30 tries to actually memorize the map in my mind. I think this away. Scissor man could should really consider a job in sheep shearing. Sheep shearing, say that ten times fast. Yeah, we get a map now. It's like when you find a map to an area in like Resident Evil or Silent Hill, and it's like you find it at the very end of the area. It's like, cool, I can confirm that I've unlocked all the doors. I bet you can't even look at the map. You just have it. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's throw the map in the fountain. That'll unlock a secret passageway. Door-like opening appears at the bottom of the fountain. Well, um... You gonna go in? Yes, I, I am aware. So where's this water coming from? And do I have to turn it off? Not sure, fever dream, but I remember is on the tree. What? Is it hiding in the... Yeah, is it? Please look diseased. Fucking burn it all. Please look diseased. Huh. Or is the valve upstairs? Like one of the small trees on the side. Well, let me... I mean, that would make sense that the valve would be by the waterfall. But then again... Oh! I looked at all the other trees, apparently. Like, please forgive me, I did not realize that that obscure pixel was a valve. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Drain opens. And down we go. And again, I really appreciate y'all sticking, sticking with it. Staying with me. Was it a fever dream? I mean, this whole game's a fever dream. You know, you get killed by rats in an underground passage, you got a creepy psychologist being like, hello, I'm waiting for you. And, Professor Barton. you know, Beethoven oh, oh. makes a cameo and murders his owner. Scissorman's secret was hidden here. Did you find Did it? Did you find it? Yes. And with this, we can probably destroy Scissorman. It's back there. Take a look. <laughs> Why are you being so fucking ominous? Okay. I could just tell you what it is, but I want to go put you back here so I can trap you. Professor. What? Is that... What? That sounds... Are you fucking kidding? No. 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 What? <laughs> what the fuck? After all of that? No, I don't. I do not approve. We got the bad ending. Survivor unidentified. 
Well, we never rescued Death. You knew that was gonna happen, Vanessa. <laughs> you knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> You're a monster. Oh, it's not letting me load it. The shit ending, yeah. A fucking pile of poo. Can I pull out my gun and fucking shoot him? Alright, let's go find Beth. Will that change our ending? What else do we gotta do? Did I already do everything? Yeah, we got the map. Okay. The ending was decided long. No! No, is that the only ending I can get, Vanessa? Oh. God. Why do you... What? Why? That is a shit ending. <laughs> Did you have the door spell? I thought I did. That was weird. Don't think we do. I feel like I remember seeing the, uh... Wasn't there something about... Um... Wasn't there something about, uh, what was it? Yeah, there's something about, uh, demonic children or something. I don't know if that's different, though. Is he gonna come again if I, uh... I go in here. Yep, yep, yep. What if I... Can we survive this? Is it possible? Yeah, I could have survived that before, but I didn't realize you could just mash the button. Is he dead? Is he dead forever? Alright. Why does every scary house from have the same entry room? That's so true. It's like we could play Resident Evil where it has like the creepy door animation every time you open a door. Okay, we can get a better ending. I feel like you're just like, you know, slowly spoon feeding me. Right? Like, hints. <laughs> Helen, everyone's lost. Hang in there, Bear. I want to look around some more. Go into the room with the Are fireplace you got pulled. Here? Got the it. The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. I've got to find it. Beth, you should stay here. You've got to be joking. I'm not going to leave us alone again. I'm going with you. <laughs> this, is, this is so stupid. No, 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 go that way. I don't think I can survive this, can I? Oh, maybe I can. Okay. No, don't go that way, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Why? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, Helen? Go back to the room with... No one in the coffin. Okay. Okay, so my... I'm guessing that the fact that my crosshair is red means I probably cannot dodge. Okay, where can I hide? 
Can I outrun him? Probably can't outrun him. Nope. He moved real fast that time. With all the quickness. Where the hell can I hide? Uh... <laughs> it's moving real slow. Alright, where... Where can I hide? Crosshair change. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, where? Where can I hide? In here? What do we get? No. No, 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 no. Let's crunch some bones a little bit there, you know, gotta, gotta do that for some good measure. Where the hell can I hide? I just, I just went in a circle. Is there anywhere I can hide? I feel like I've already used every hiding spot. Uh -huh. I'm surprised it didn't fall in the hole there. He's so slow, but he always, he always gets me. Well, I'm just gonna try hiding in this, uh, this closet again. He's probably gonna stab me right in the face, but... Yep. <laughs> Yep, yep, that one, that, uh, that happened. Is it this one? So we can go check fireplace. Yeah, because I think I'm like out of hiding spots at this point. He just really swole. Yeah. I know the batteries are dead. So is that all I have to do? Vanessa? Anything else? Anything else on this chair? <laughs> Man's got gamer back. <laughs> All right, we saw we solved the mystery, Vanessa. Now can we go uh, say hello? Do Dr. Barton. Now we go back to the non-room. Oh, that's right. That's right. That'd help if I remembered. Okay. I believe, if I remember correctly, the Nolan room. Is this way? 
stone coffin. That's right. That's right. How the hell are you supposed to figure this shit out? Like, go to a fireplace, have the flashlight battery die, and then, of course, when your flashlight battery dies, look inside the coffin. Yeah? Yeah? Are we sure? Chemicals. There's nothing useful. Did I trial and error? Did I miss something in here? Stone coffin. Should be better. Oh, if only there are the red suns. Yeah, they'll fit in the flashlight. Look at that. I kind of just figured, like, oh shit, this flashlight is a piece of garbage. So I'm guessing I need to go back to the fireplace and use the flashlight. Yep, okay. God, I feel like I'm on a fucking wild goose chase. save it again because this guy is just gonna pry pop up like you want to go in the fireplace too bad i'm gonna stab you first was it scissor man that grabbed me up the fireplace that one time because we didn't actually see anybody No wonder this flashlight shit, it's a flashlight. Alright. So let's uh, flash this fire, please. There's a note. Words to open door. Naha ishu. Maybe these words can be used. What door are we opening? To exercise. Scissor man. Okay, so we got, we got, got the door spell. Am I supposed to go into the fountain again at this point? Was there a door that I couldn't open that a door spell is needed for? Go back to the fountain. Okay. Trust in you, Vanessa. Even though I'm pretty sure you knew that horrible ending was coming well before it did. Just like after this whole, this whole ordeal, it's just like, you did all this and you died by a rock to the back of the head. What are you hiding, Professor Barton? I mean, basically from the first two minutes of the game, knew he was an unethical piece of shit, so... Not, not, a uh, not surprised. Alright. So maybe we'll beat this game before, before we, uh, reach Saturday. I mean, for some of you, it probably already is Saturday. Probably my longest stream at this point. <laughs> All right. No. Why? He chops the tree, right? And he's going to find me. <laughs> that laugh. It's great. It's great. 
All right, well, I think my option is I'm going to run down that hallway and see if I can get him to chase me and then fall off the edge of the mansion because he somehow survives that. I'm a succubus. We both know I'm evil AF. <laughs> Is he going to be waiting for me? Okay. Alright. Here we go. Alrighty. The uh, taken care of for now. So, just out of curiosity, is there any point to, um, talking to Beth? <laughs> oh, do I need to, like, use the map first? Opening. Why, why, why is the thing up here when the valve is on the ground? If this doesn't fix our ending, then I got bad news, kids. No. Yeah, yeah, if if we still get a bad ending, we're gonna we're gonna just we'll call it a night. We'll call it a night. I think we've been playing this game much longer than it ever deserved. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the, the criteria that you gotta meet in some games to get different endings is so obscure and arbitrary sometimes. Oh, getting a little bit of lag. Beth is just mad she's only six polygons. Yeah, she's she's not a whopping eight like Helen. Can I just pull out my gun and be like, hello, Dr. Barton? Oh, he's not here. So we changed something. So we changed something. That's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, we got the door. Alright, alright. Oh. oh. Hello there. Okay, you just gonna wait for me. Oh. That voice. I didn't think you'd get this far, Helen. Edward? That is Edward's voice? You... You're the murderer? Let's play, Helen. Jesus. When do we use the spell? All about 30 centimeters wide. Are we gonna put statue there? Is that okay? And then we're gonna do a spell. Ah! Show me the way. Okay. Shit. Okay, we get like an interdimensional portal. <laughs> Teach! What is happening? <laughs> what? Okay. 
This is the place where many mangled male and female bodies are being found. The search for more corpses still continues. <laughs> what? Okay, that was that was a better ending. That was a better ending. Better than getting killed by a rock. Getting sucked into like a wormhole sounds better. Was that was that was that the only way that could have ended, Vanessa? All right. Well. <sighs> so we got ending B. Oh, ending rank B. Okay. Is that any more satisfying? I was more satisfied by that ending. I feel like the other one was just kind of, kind of dumb. Oh, my, my uh, headphone died. So I'll just go ahead and mute that. What is this hint? When carrying the box that can't be opened, you need to do something fairly drastic to get at the contents. I guess that's the hint you were talking about. I blame Beth. Beth sucks. Totally Beth's fault. So it was the kid all alone. Like, and I would have been able to succeed too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, there we there we have it, folks. I like how this is the game that you played for the longest. Yeah, because I was stubborn. And I was expecting to be able to beat the game in like two to three hours, but apparently not. I mean, well, yeah, there we there we have it. The game game is over. Never touch that one again. And you get more of me. All right. So uh, next week. Uh, let's see. What is next week? Next Friday. We'll have to figure out something for next Friday. So there are three endings. Yeah, I might just like Google the other endings. Probably not even worth or YouTube the other endings. Probably not even uh probably not even worth doing that much. Yeah. I'm glad I was still able to hang because of how long you're in tonight. Oh, and I'm glad you were able to come too, Sammy. Always a joy to have you here. Well, thanks, Vanessa. Decided to give it a little extra volume today. But next week, my my plan was to maybe play, uh, I was originally thinking Sea of Solitude. Nice little adventure game. I believe, uh, about mental illness. It'll be nice and lighthearted. But I wanted to play something since May is Mental Illness Awareness Month. Or Mental Health Awareness Month, I believe. Not Mental Illness. I think Mental Health Awareness. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we can uh, introduce some more retro games into the rotation. So if you have any other suggestions, any other votes based on my collection. So I don't think I'm going to do stream streams of Resident Evil Village. Plan on playing that on my own offline, but maybe we could uh, do something with that in the future. Like, I could beat it, unlock all the bonus weapons, and we could do just like a fun, quick run through it. I don't know if it's going to be one of those types of Resident Evils. But we'll see. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, everyone who stayed for nearly five hours. Um, thank you. As several people have said thank you to our mods. Thank you to our wonderful Casey, Vanessa, Trucy, Riley, and Zoe. They're all absolutely amazing. And the month of my birthday. Yeah, May is also the month of my birthday, Casey. May 18th. Can't wait for that. But yeah. Well, uh something fun next week and stay tuned for some new videos coming up 
And if you have not done so already, please be sure to give this a big thumbs up and hit that like button on your way out. And hit that subscribe button, notification bell. I'm sure all of you all have already subscribed, but just in case you haven't, go ahead and do that. And stay tuned for new videos next week and a new live stream next Friday. Tribute is accepted. <laughs> all right, y'all. Oh, May 19th? Awesome. Well, look at that. All of us may babies. Maybes? Maybes? May babies? Yeah. Well, happy almost birthday, Casey and Elin, and to myself, only a few weeks. Oh, we asking, do we want a we want a tipsy shout out before before we end the stream? Let's see if I can go uh go uh scoop her up. We got a tipsy. We got a tipsy. She's so happy to be on camera. She only fights a little bit. Look at that face. It's the face of pure joy. <laughs> She's so unhappy. Yep, she was sitting on my vanity bench as she usually does. She uses it more than I do. She's so cute. <laughs> Yes. Sorry. The people asked for you, and you had to make an appearance. Oh, all right, everyone. I don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling pretty tired after that stream. <laughs> oh, they love you, Tipsy. She loves you, too. Don't forget your little buggy buddy. Yes, my little buggy buddy. Right here in this little cuppy cup. All right, y'all. Tipsy and I love you all so much, and we'll see you again soon. Hope everyone has a good night, or good morning, good afternoon, whatever time zone you may be in at this moment. But regardless, thank you for coming. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you again soon. And like Casey said, have a good weekend. All right. Bye for now. And now let's stop the stream.